here. You will not pass out before I start. <coughs> I am nine minutes late. Imagine that. As always, impressive. I, um, never played the game that I'm currently playing today. Buggos, if you will. Uh, but I am curious about it. I got it, a I saw it a long time ago, thought it looked cute, wanted to try it out. So I have a day where I'm doing a, a one-off. And if I like it, maybe I'll play it again in the future, but who knows. It'll be great. Um, so yeah. Give me a second now. Mm -hmm. Doing some things and stuff. Will be done briefly. Um, yeah, so you know, sort of, <clears throat> been a, sort of a interesting day. Just um, might do a full stream. I might not. I'm not positive yet. I'm quite tired. Oh god, I just shook my headphones and it made my audio crackle. I need to replace this aux cord at some point. It's going. It's going the way of the. Well, it's going. It's going bad. Uh, Patat's playing Skyrim. Yeah, I know. I was excited. I've never, I haven't played much Skyrim, but it looks like a lot of fun. I played a little bit. Um, when I played, I played Shield, Shield Sword person. Apparently, Patat's playing uh, a, a, a miscreant, a ne'er do well, if you will. That's cool. music's louder than my voice. I did turn the music down a ton when I started because it was like at half volume and I'm like, this is still way too loud. Just some games are like that for some reason. It's wild. Uh, okay. There you go. <laughs> I never, I, I just looked at the like the actual stream on on websites <laughs> and Patat's gasp emote is really funny. <laughs> I like it a lot. Patat's a thief, yeah. Anyway, a new redeem has been added. Imagine that. By request. It just took a while because I had to find a good image to use. Anyway, I can finally begin. Oh my goodness, you're first. Imagine that. <laughs> New game. Oh god, I don't care. Standard. <laughs> Gasp. The home world. Hold one, I want to go murder. <laughs> you are too young to go conquering on your own. You always say that. Well, when you live on a ply planet, you follow my rules. Fine, I'll go get my own planet then. What? Whee! <laughs> Riveting story. Ow. This is our hive. From the hive, we can spawn many types of buggos. In just a moment, a few swarmers will be born and come out of the hive. With these swarmers, we can conquer this land and eventually make the planet ours. However, there is a maximum number of buggos we can control at once. Here, we can see our current swarm capacity. This bar fills up as we spawn more buggos. 
Each cycle, we can spawn a maximum number of buggos based on the number of nutrients we have available. Spawns are cap also capped based on maximum spawn size. Here you can see current level of nutrients. Buggos take nutrients to spawn. If you have too few nutrients to hint the hive will produce less bugs. Nutrients are consumed whenever you spawn buggos. Thankfully, primary hive will absorb more periodically. <laughs> we can look around the area by using WASD. Why? Well, imagine that. It's kind of fast, huh? I might do this instead. Find the dirty humans in the top right. Excellent. We should exterminate them to make room for our swarm. We need to attack. And we need an attack pin for our swarmers. This pin helps our guide our swarmers, although mostly have a mind of their own. Hold left click near your target, then select the icon for the swarmers. This will drop a pin. Before we let the swarmers kill those dirty humans, you should select the attack modifier. It will give the buggos more damage. Correct. Now let's watch the humans fall before our might. There you go. <laughs> I see you found the uh, animated redeem or the animated emotes. Hey, how you doing? Victory! Wow, we killed the humans. What a what a tutorial. Oh, this isn't helpful. I guess scum laden outpost. This is the landing site, so this must be the first one to go to. Evolutions available. Sentience. Suddenly we were. Former statistics. Alright. Right, so we have no evolution points. This is the evolution tree. This is what made me interested in the game the first time I saw it, is this massive, like, skill tree sort of thing. <laughs> Just sort of, like, seemed pretty cool. So I just wanted to try it. But I can't evolve yet. Scum laden outpost. Can't keep your eyes open? Tell Bert you said hi. He still stops by. Alright. Will do. Humans kind of look like Greek Cyclopses, although maybe two eyes. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> Definitely not a whole lot going on. These are big bugs. Come right for us. Get him. They squished one of my buggos. Two of my buggos. Have a good stream. Thank you. Have a good night. Sleep well. Take care. Drink water. All that. Pet the cat. Some sort of auto battler? Uh, I think mostly, but I think you have a little bit of control. It was described as like an RTS where you don't have to um, have super good APM to play it or something like that. Me. Sneaky hydration. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even, I didn't shake the bottle. You heard it though. It happened. And I guide the evolution. Yeah, like that, something like that. Like, they'll wander off and do their own thing. I can control them. Um, I can give them this stuff. Attack buff. Make them produce more. I have, like, a minor control over, like, their evolutions and stuff. And like I said, um, I do have a little bit of control over their attacks. Wow, Human Casualties 3. I think it gets much harder later. But for now, it's very easy. Now I gained one evolution point, I think. For beating that level, so I can give them tearing claws to give them one damage. Does that have like a description that I could read aloud? <laughs> All swarmers evolve sharper front claws. No. Okay. The filthy peasant village. Yeah, like in the tutorial, like you can control where they go. Like generally, they go that way, and they'll swarm that direction. But I do have a little bit of control. Give them a general idea of where I want them to go, what I want them to do. I imagine it'll unlock new units and stuff later. Luckily humans don't fight back. Yeah, true. <laughs> just, an, just, a, just a human eating simulator right now. Of course, I do like to squish my bugs sometimes. They fight back when they get, like, nommed. <laughs> yeah. When they're, uh, they don't, like, actively attack me. 
This game, yeah. Squish. How dare you. Nearly defenseless. Human peasant. They scream well. Uh, swarm are fast and nimble. Little bug that works well in groups. Okay. Kill. The human's a murderer. Kick to bugs. Yeah, it's true. Can't can't abide murderers. Not here. Not near my swarm. It was a good neighborhood before they started killing all my bugs. So they they take two hits clearly, and my bugs take one to kill. Although I did gain some damage, so maybe yeah, if we get the first hit, then we get we can kill them in one go. How you doing, Patat? More fun with Skyrim? Or are you still? I know, right? You didn't stream today, did you? Yes. <laughs> she happened to mention it, so I thought you might have done. What did you stream today? I don't remember your schedule. I'm afraid. Eating their houses. This building provides shelter for the humans. I wonder if the houses produce more humans over time if I let them, like, sit. I also could play... I have, like, a lot of other games that I want to try in, like, similar veins to this. Not, like, this exactly game, but, like, I mean, like, games that are, like, probably good for a one-off that are probably just, like, really silly short games. Um, but I only play them when I'm, like, in between games. Yay, two evolution points. Area conquered. You have two unspent evolution points. Oh, yeah, right. So I might, might have to figure out if I want, when I want to do those. Speed hooks. Long digging talons that help swarmers gain traction on almost all surfaces. Gives movement speed. Or health. Might be fun so they stop getting squished. Uh, shorter time before brood spawning. Spawn rate increases. More food for spawning buggos. I can control more buggos. Hmm, more is always fun. These are the new types, I think, right? The Spiner's a nimble ranged buggo. I want that. Builder. Allows spawning of builder buggos. It can breed buggo buildings. Oh, that sounds good. I want both of those. So, faster spawn rate. And the Spiner. Objective trash heap. Five out of four. Ah, there we go. Defensive dirt town. Mildly dangerous. Now I should get another type of buggo. We have new new humans. Basic marine. The human race. Do two damage and have eight health. Now we have enemies that can fight back finally. I did make a first redeem. <laughs> it was requested. It has existed now. You're, you're not new, either of you, but hello to both of you. Oh, there's my little range bugs. Small, aggressive, short-ranged unit that throws spines at dirty humans. I like to squish my buggos, though. <laughs> 103 day... Redeem? Stop killing my bugs! Attack! <laughs> You're not new. I've seen you both. Oh, how could you? Did you forget our time together? You commenting in chat and me replying. Sometimes when I see it. <laughs> I figure... The game seems pretty chill. Slow paced, so I don't have to... I don't have to be particularly, like, uh... <laughs> stressed while playing. Of 
Or it's still your number one spot in your cheese. It's true. It was very, very kind and generous. Yeah, I can probably move these guys down here now just for fun. Or I could make them go down here and attack. Now I have a dedicated combat unit. I can actually use them to destroy everything instead of just having my middle ones go for it. Yeah, I figure these humans don't really stand much of a chance against my poor buggos. But we do lose them occasionally. Especially if we focus on walls instead of humans. Can I, like, dedicate attacks on Ziv enemies? No. Well, maybe. No! Well, you're gonna lose all your houses. Have you really won? The answer is no. Bert went to sleep four hours ago, so it might not be in my stream today. Ah, that's all right. I'm glad they're getting some sleep. Also, you need to go to sleep. You're super tired, and you have been up relatively early tomorrow. Okay. Well then, take care. Sleep well. Thanks for popping in and saying hey. Yay, area conquered. I'll dedicate a, a, a beverage crack for you. The old grip and rip if you're still around for it. Disgusting Hamlet. We should probably evolve first. That'd be more fun. I'm kind of want the builders. I'm curious what they're all about. Automatically creates nutrient goo. Harvests nutrient goo from the land. Or nutrient goo harvests nutrients from the land. Let's see. Selective breeding? Allows me to choose which one to spawn. That's okay, I don't need that right now. Maybe that'd be useful later. I do kind of want faster swarming. What is this? Greater control of the swarmers. That might be nice. More swarm capacity? Oh, that sounds great, actually. There's a lot of those. I didn't realize there was so many of those. So we're going to get medium swarm capacity. Plus 30 swarm. Can't wait for my bugs to destroy all of mankind. E. Got things. <laughs> I guess that's my build menu. I can't really build anything, but there's a lot of things to build apparently, which is nice. Building their hive, like over here. Once they uh, <laughs> break open that wall, maybe it'll let me. Yes. I guess the brown bugs, the builders. They're coming. Bend my territory. No! They switched my bug. Now we wait and watch as my bug empire spreads across the land. <laughs> All tech as revenge for my poor buggo's death. Oh, they can shoot over their walls, but I can't shoot over them.
That's okay. Oh, there's a lot of them, though. Bit problematic. Oh. Oh, no. My builder bugs end up have to, have to die to, to build, apparently. <laughs> no, that's probably okay. Also, they seem to be, like, producing this goo, the nutrient paste or whatever, toward where I want them to go. Oh, okay. Start start gathering over here instead, because they're starting to they're starting to get a little bit close. I guess the swarmers are just uh, different different combat type, so I don't need to have them like hang back so much. For some reason, I was like holding them back as if they were like crucial to my survival, but they are just another bug they use to fight. Oh, I didn't realize I had... I just, like, press 1? Oh, that's how you do that. Okay, that's what those numbers meant. I thought that meant I had 7, uh, like, gun bugs left and 1 swarmer bug. That can't be right. Would have taken a lot of off... a lot of damage. figure it's a pretty chill game. Maybe it's not. Maybe it gets really intense later, but for now it's chill. Now swarm them. Military outpost guarding the human outpost. Maybe it was a bit <laughs> ambitious to try getting the, the second hive up. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be built before I finish this level. I put him on combat. Go. Kill. Like Starship Troopers, but like cute. Instead of horrifying. Not that I've ever seen Starship Troopers. I've only seen clips of it, and I played a little bit of the first person shooter game that they released pretty recently. Actually, it might be an early access still. That game's fun, but <laughs> kind of. People, people don't know what they're doing in there ever, so it gets really hectic. Kind of fun, but also kind of annoying. But it's a fun game. I keep adding, they're like updating it, and I haven't been trying the updates. Kill. And sue. That's another one of those games I thought about playing on stream, but... Since I have no, like, idea. <laughs> like, I don't like playing online games. Um, I don't know if I'll actually do that or not. Protective Trash Heap. Oh, I could probably level up, yeah. I, I kind of want to see what other buildings I can make. What do you got? Flesh walls. That sounds good. Extra health for flesh walls. Floor traps. Ooh. Spore launchers. That sounds good. I want that. Rebuilding? Automatically rebuild destroyed buildings. That sounds great. I think Starship Troopers had a campaign too. Does it? It didn't when I last played it, but it might now. Spore launchers. Nice. So if I just like put this here, it'll defend me. I wonder if... Oh, they're like they're boxed in. I was wondering like if they were going to stay there or come after me. But yeah, they're like boxed in by their, their thingies. I want to tell them to stay over here until we're ready to swarm. If it has a campaign, I might play that on stream. Because there's also... um, There's like Terran Command, I think. Humans are getting smart. Yeah, it's true. They're defending now, properly. I mean, I guess they didn't have any threats before, right? Like, the, the premise is I've just landed on this planet and now I'm invading. It's not like they're on this... It's not like Starship Troopers where they're coming to invade my planet and it's covered in bugs. Yeah, Terran Command is the RTS. That's one that I wanted to try out, too. Um, but I don't 
own it yet. <laughs> and I'm not sure if I want to play an RTS on stream super bad. Because I'm bad at RTSs, even though I do like them. There are many Starship Troopers games, that's true. Yeah, the RTS looked pretty cool to me, but I haven't had a chance to try it because it's expensive. Well, it's not that expensive, but you know. It may, yeah, me playing RTS games. Good times. Yeah, I like them, but I'm not good at them. I mean, I you know I'm I'm okay at like some games. <laughs> Extremely allowed to be bad at games, even on Steam. Yeah, I guess. But stream is where I can show off my skills. My very impressive skills. I should probably turn off Nutrient Goose so they build that turret faster. Oh, I guess they're not going to attack me. I don't need to be, like, super cautious. I should probably also get control over what's being built. Because right now I don't have any control. It just builds whatever it wants to build. It'd be probably a good idea to, like get myself the, um, the upgrade that lets me choose what gets built first, or more importantly, I suppose. But yeah, like, Age of Empires is fun. I like that game a lot, but I'm really bad at it. If you only play games you're good at on stream, you'll get more afraid of making mistakes, though. I don't know if I'm afraid of making mistakes. Just, you know. <laughs> I just don't want to get, like, frustrated at being bad. They're shooting me over the walls. That's not fair. Consume them. I didn't... I don't... <laughs> my sport launcher is almost built. Yeah. But if, I, if I'm really bad at a game, I get kind of frustrated. So it's, it, I, I prefer to be at least, you know, somewhat competent at a game that I want to stream. Um, because nobody likes watching frustrated people play games. Well, maybe they do. I'm going to need to pull back for a, a, like a full assault because there's a little bit too much going on here. Oh, look, we have our thing. A long-range spore-launching defensive structure. Well, <laughs> it's a shame it didn't get built sooner. I could build another one, like, down here. It'll never get built. Kill that. Yeah, maybe I'll play a game I'm bad at. Because I know that I have, um, I have StarCraft and Dawn of War on there. On, the, like, the list of games I intend to play. At some point. <laughs> Dawn of War is just a game I like, and Stark... Well, I, I say like. I played a little bit of the campaign. Um, I mostly played the... The multi... Not the multiplayer, the, the single-player, like, skirmishes. I didn't play much of the campaign, but I did play it. And then StarCraft 1, I was thinking about playing because it was requested. And then StarCraft 2, I've never played. I played a little bit of the multiplayer in StarCraft 2, but I never played the story at all. You don't know if you watched me play StarCraft 2. Well, luckily, it would just be the campaign, not the multiplayer, so I'd, I would be at least decent. Hey, wow, that's long range. They actually made it up here to place it down. Build another one down here. Scorch. <laughs> it's, it's kind of sad my bugs have to die to build. Scorch. No, don't attack. They're bloodthirsty. Take snack breaks, you'll be okay. Yeah, I suppose. Stop killing my builders! How do they know? How do they know what the important ones are? Dead mood. What is this? Command center. The human stronghold. Trains dirty humans that want to fight. Oh, so that makes more soldiers. I guess that's why there's so many soldiers down here. <laughs> I've let them produce. I can build another hive down here. They don't have to run so far to reach the location. That might be wise. So see, the game's getting a bit more tactical now. Not like <laughs> difficult, but you know, tactical. 
I have to play a little bit smarter. Because these darn marines. Does it actually take a human here to go in there? Or do they just come out with more marines? So if it takes a human, then there is just a finite amount. Not too worried about it. I'm sitting here and watching to see if they have to like spawn themselves. Spore launcher's good range though, at least, if nothing else. Oh wow, they just spawned a whole bunch of regular humans. Those aren't marines, so I'm not worried about them. Does it say marine? Just say humans. It just says humans. Maybe it isn't marines that come out of there. That's good. Now stop building over here. And start building over here. That way we have a, a more, like, <laughs> setup attack structure. All bugs go. I should probably also increase my swarm sizes and maybe the speed at which I produce, because they do kind of spawn pretty slowly. And I'm already almost at capacity over here. Well, I was, I think. Now they're dying. <laughs> so maybe not. Yes. I make more nutrient goo, I'll make more spawners, but I don't actually need spawners. I have tons of, like, meat. Okay, yeah, they just wiped out my entire, like, bug swarm. Back up, run away. Just gotta reproduce. There's not very many left of them, so I should be okay after this next assault wave. Since that building doesn't train more marines, I'm not too worried. Do I build this any closer? Not really. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, so I think number one upgrades, probably faster spawning, and more control. That's what I need to like beeline for. enough for now. I got 48 out of 130. <laughs> it's probably enough. There are more marines here than there were, so maybe it does actually turn them into marines. Yeah, it does. I just watched one go in. I don't know why. I, I mean, I guess I could just do that, too. That way we have two, two hives producing at the same time, because it'll double production speed. Yeah, that didn't work. Am I bad at games? <laughs> I might be bad at games. Uh, Alright, conglomerate over here. And just start, like, approaching slowly with turrets, then, if you're gonna have a hard time. Get some backup firing, like, support, whatever. Probably also turn off the goo. How much building does it require? It requires like 10, 10 builder bugs to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. It's not terrible, but it's not great. I can also increase spawning, can't I? Yeah. I keep forgetting I have control over the that stuff. 69 swarmers, nice. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I just need them to get a bit closer. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I... Do I dare build even closer? No, probably not. Okay, that's a lot of bugs. We can go in now. We can definitely win. Go! Swarm! Kill! Consume! Adapt! Nice. Yeah, it was easy. Okay. <laughs> so the second hive 
Once I decided to turn on the second hive, it worked out pretty well. I think I'll need, like, a dedicated combat unit at some point, too. I mean, I guess that's what the, the shooters are, but there's probably, like, a tanky bug, too. Yay! Human casualties, 196. Wow. Bug casualties, 587. Oof. Okay, what evolutions do I want to get now? Need faster egg laying, right? Spawn rate, yeah. Uh, faster movement speed, more control over them. Starting nutrients? I don't really need that. Where's the control one? There's one that gives me more control. Swarmer influence. That's swarmer specifically. And swarmer health. Oh, and armor. Ooh. That's pretty good, actually. Maybe I do that. So, frenzied aid legs to shorten time between brood spawning. And swarmers have more health. That way they can not die in one one squish. Regrettable looking city. I got several little outposts. This one this map seems a lot easier than the last one. Unless I let these fester for too long, I guess. These will like produce very quickly if I don't deal with it. But get some uh, builder bugs out there to squish things up to build some of this goop. I can increase spawn rate as well. I don't know how many resources the spawns take, but it looks like we're still in the net positive, despite producing faster. Going down a bit now. I'll probably tell them to just hang out back here for now, so they don't just like wander off and <laughs> get shot. The nutrient goo, I imagine, will like start to offset the uh, the cost of producing the bug swarm. Also, I wonder if it's worth building, like, a second hive nearby, or if I should just use them as, like, forward operating bases to go on, like, assaults instead of, like, keeping them back here to stay <laughs> stave off the, uh, the attacks, or whatever I'm trying to say. If I put them forward, I can attack easier, but if I put them back here, I can produce more at a time. That might be worth doing. <laughs> oh, they're just coming to attack me. They're actually, like, actively trying to attack me here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I might have to start investing in, like, defenses. I'm not worried about them, because they're only sending them in, like, two or three at a time, but... If they, had, if they sent everybody on the map in at once, I think they'd be able to wipe me out. Swap to attack mode and just charge into this one here. Go! Go, go, go! Eat them! Eat all the humans! Obviously, the one up here is the prob the threats. These are the, the threatening buildings, when they produce more marines. But I imagine this is how many they can have on the battlefield at any given time. So if I get rid of their little buildings, I assume that's what's going to stop them producing more. Stop killing my builders. They're useful to me. I don't think I need those, but it couldn't hurt to have them, right? We finished off that section, so let's run back over here. I may put a hive down here as well to get a little bit more spawn rate. Yes. Excellent. And go for this one here. Are they able to survive a shot now? No, they still get killed in one hit by these guys. 
They do two damage. I guess these have two health, right? Yeah. Two health, zero armor. And these humans do one damage, so they can they can hit the bugs twice and then they'll die. I did see later you can unlock armor for the swarmers, so that'll make it so they can survive one hit from uh, survive these guys indefinitely. But not these. No, stop it. Stop killing my builders. Darn marines. They know what they're doing. They're harassing my poor builders who are just trying to do their duty. The hive. Oh, I forgot I have my batteries charging. Give me a sec, I'll be right back. I think that they auto turn off when they're charging, but I still don't like leaving them plugged in. Worry. Okay. We're doing all right, but it is getting kind of dangerous here. There's like a lot of them coming out at me. Maybe spore launchers wouldn't be a bad thing to set up here, just to protect the advancing forces. Especially considering their, like, overlapping fire arcs make it very difficult to, like, deal with them. That entire swarm just got wiped out immediately. Go, builders, go! Sacrifice your bodies for the greater good. The good of the hive. I might have to turn on spawn rate. How much health do these turrets have? 15. Oof. So even if they do get built, they'll get shot down pretty quick. May not be worth keeping them building. Okay. Gather back here, please. <laughs> the enemies are too, too numerous. We got lots of resources to produce. Uh, more bugs. Buggos, if you will. That should be alright. But I need to be careful. Builders can't even get over there without getting blasted. So I'm assuming these tiles produce like one resource at a time. Swarm's nearly full. I have to go and attack again. In the assault. And build while we're attacking. <laughs> I think if I can get two of these things up at once, I'll be alright. But one is going to get destroyed too quick. Okay, we've breached their walls. That's progress. I think there's still too many of them to deal with. I might have to go in and take out their, like, troops on the outsides. Yeah, they dealt with me pretty <laughs> pretty succinctly. Very, very dead. Would it go awry if I were to build another hive? How many hives do I need? Surely it wouldn't hurt. Me. Build like over here if I take over that position. Make everybody gather here. Let the builders just sort of goop up the place.
up here is a good place for a hive, and down here is a good place for a hive. Especially if I can, like, make it so that they don't spread out. Because they're, like, flanking me right now. I doubt it's their intention, but they're, they're just spreading out generally. So they're, like, getting into locations where, like, it's kind of inconvenient. And I assume my hive has a health. Yeah, 60. These things are nice. I like them. I didn't put any defenses down here or here. That one's not finished building, and this one isn't even isn't even placed. It wouldn't go alright to have one here and there eventually, and then like here eventually. But that's less important. And I can put a hive there and there eventually <laughs> when I get them built. Uh, we have a lot of builder bugs, so it might be worth just sending them over here. Let's send the swarm that direction too. Finish off this guy. Kill. Also, increasing their speed might be a good thing to do. Because that would give them the enemies less time to like attack them as they approach. Maybe I'll move this hive to here instead of here. Tell these builder buggos to get up there and build that. Stop building nutrient goo. I don't need nutrient goo right now. Honestly, I probably could just go in there and destroy them now. I have a lot of bugs. And this this little wall here has prevented them from killing me on my approach. Yes, good. Destroy their buildings. They can't rebuild them. <laughs> that means I win. Every loss for them is devastating. But I have thousands of you, sir, waiting to die. That was easy. Didn't even need the extra hives. Swarm. Ta-da! 1,000 bug casualties. And I got three upgrade points. Entering area two. Okay, what do I want? More swarm is pretty good. I do like that. More speed would be nice as well. Efficient builders might be good, because it takes a long time to build things, and they do get shot a lot while they're trying. Building regeneration sounds amazing too. Start with level 20 builders. Ooh. ooh. Titan. Wow. Ooh, I want that. I should probably get the selective breeding program. It allows me to select what buggos are allowed to spawn. It increases the price. Other bugs? That's not great. That's fine. It makes sense. It makes it it, it kind of like forces me to be careful with what I want. Hive spawn increase. Oh. Really? Interesting. Okay. Spiner range might be nice. I do want to get the, the building regeneration. Sounds pretty good. Although nothing's attacking me, so I don't need that right now. Spore launcher range. Pretty strong. Nutrient pustules. Allows builders to build living pustule sacs that create nutrients for buggos to feed on. Let's do efficient builders, because that way they build faster. Ew, gross. Nutrient pustules sound pretty good too. I mean, they sound disgusting, but good. Also, swarmer armor might be good. That way, they don't get they don't get killed by the, the regular humans at all. Let's do that. That way, they don't get killed by humans. They only get killed by marines. We got efficient builders. We can choose what gets spawned and humans. Simpleton housing, mildly dangerous. 
Okay, yeah, look at all these humans. Oh, there's turrets, too. A long-range static defensive structure that rapidly fires hot plasma bolts. Four damage, two armor, 18 health. Oh god, it's really long range. Hey, okay, don't approach then, I guess. We have to swarm those. Uh, I don't need to build builders this time, so I'm going to toggle the builders. Actually, I do. I need the builders for um, nutrient goo. Let's turn off them for now then. In that case, they're not going to come out and attack me, so I don't need to have the other bugs doing anything. Just have my builders <laughs> get an enormous amount of goo on the ground. Yes, good. Produce the goo. I should also check the range of those turrets again. Uh, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. I guess that's about the range. So I can probably build here. Up to there. Just to make sure I can have a good idea of their range. Not that I can control where my bugs <laughs> go, but I can build like another hive. Need food production now. I want more hives to make sure I can get enough units to consistently bombard their structures before um, it becomes an issue. I want to goop up the entire land I'm allowed to goop up and build more hives. I could just build another hive there, actually. Not sure it's a good idea, but you know, it couldn't hurt. Does it increase my spawn cap? I don't think it does. It just gives me faster production. That's a lot of bugs. Okay, I want all these to go over this direction. I want to I want them to spread their goo and they're not making more goo on this. The, they're not making more goo on the goo, so I need them to, like, go off the goo to make more goo. If that makes sense. <laughs> the range is, like, there. I don't want to... I don't want... This is actually a fine place. I can, I can build, like, down here. And not be, like, damaged, it looks like. Maybe. I guess I'll find out. If they start shooting that hive. <laughs> so many, so many builders. I have so much food now. I don't actually need any more. Like, I can turn off builder production and just turn on these two. Just like send all my builders like up to get murdered. You can't stop all of us. I wonder if I can get buffs that make like the goo give me more like movement speed or something. I don't have any increases to my actual, like, movement speed, so getting up there is going to be like a bloodbath, I think. Why don't you posture check me? Yeah, all my builders are dead, which is great. That way I can produce only attack units. Go. Go, my minions. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's really rough. I think we'll, we have the sheer weight of numbers. We can definitely get in there, but we're losing a lot. And that extra armor hasn't helped any because these turrets do too much damage. But it's fine. As long as I take out those turrets before... You know, all my bugs are dead. I won't even have to wait. Yes, they can only kill so many of us. A reposition. <laughs> 
to attack the last two turrets. And then we will feast on the humans. Unopposed. And as an insult, I'll place a hive right here. Turn builder production back on. I won't get built before the end of the mission, but <laughs> it will be funny. For future, for future insults, you know. Doesn't need to be right now, but eventually. That went well. Those efficient builders are really good. Takes a, <laughs> half as many builders to build anything. And being able to choose what spawns is nice. Yay. Wow, less than 10%. Okay, what do I want next? Maybe that armor? I already got the armor, didn't I? I did, yeah. So more guidance, influence, so that just increases their movement speed and their uh, how much I can control them. Move faster on goo. That was literally what I was asking about. Defensive goo tactics might be good. Greater goo. <laughs> Nutrient goo. Er, gooier. Okay, I want all these. These are all grays. That sounds fantastic. Allows builders to build living pustules to create nutrients. That seems nice, but I don't need that. This just gives more nutrients every four patches, and that goes into the greater goo, which makes it even more for three patches. So it must be five patches. It must be one goo for every five patches right now. Chance to goo on death seems pretty good, because that way they can just, I can just rush, I can base assault with the... Let's do that, actually, yeah. I'll build into this. That way I can base assault with the, the builders when I'm done with them. Tasty looking morsel. Uh oh. There's what I can only assume is flamethrowers up here. Flamer, yep. Flame wielding maniacs who love to kill with fire. Dang. Give me the goo. I guess I should probably expand as quickly as possible, because they're going to start moving out over here just naturally. I don't know if they actually do assaults or not, or if that was just a coincidence, and they just sort of wander generally over here at the same time. But I do want to make sure I'm ready to defend <laughs> if they start coming for me. I don't have the flesh wall buildings yet either. Probably make an effort to get those too. That was one of the things I saw in the upgrade tree. I should also probably read the descriptions of the skills and stuff to make sure I act they're, that you're, they're useful for me. <laughs> yeah, look, they're coming over now. I don't know if they're investigating or if they're like, if you get like a certain size that they attack you. Go, kill. My, like, three bugs that aren't builders. Ah! Ah! Hmm, okay. We're doing pretty well. Like, we've expanded a lot. I could just swarm up all the bugs. Start, like, replacing them with, um, the other ones. Yeah, see, Goo on Death would be really useful there, especially. Because he killed, like, f like five or six of the, the builders before they even reached him. That... this thing has, like, no damage. One damage. Two... no, that has one damage as well. These have two damage. It took forever to kill that building, though. Maybe it just has bad attack speed. Is that a stat? It is, a, it is one. What's your attack speed? Swarmer has two. You have two as well. Okay, so they attack twice as fast, and some they do like twice as much damage. 
The range doesn't, of course. Ah, more marines are coming. Waiting for that. Okay, build some turrets. Now that we've pushed up a bit. I like that they're, like, focusing on these buildings instead of just, like, staying up here. I just need to make sure they don't attack me in, like, an inconvenient location. Uh, Alright, we got a lot of food. I'm gonna put spawning up. Flamers are flaming. How much damage do they do? Two damage? Four armor. It's a problem. Attack range is range three. It's lower than this, but it shoots faster and does the same amount of damage. Live for the swarm. Hey, Virgil, how you doing? I don't know what you're referencing, so I just read it out. I'm gonna guess StarCraft, considering how often you ask me to play StarCraft. Or how often you reference it, I suppose. Infested, infested Terran spawn quotes. Oh. I didn't know they could infest Terran. I thought... I, I didn't realize they were like gene stealers or whatever. Like gene stealer cultists. But I suppose, considering the origin of StarCraft, it would make sense. My builders... They're being murdered. Attack! Attack builders, go! I can't even make it. Okay, turn off builder production. <laughs> there you go. There's so many humans in there, too. I wonder if I'll even be able to do this. I haven't increased my horde size at all. They do a different amount of damage. They do a, a decent amount of damage, but considering how <laughs> how many uh, humans there are and how little damage my buggos do. There's like StarCraft, low spec mode. Well, yeah, exactly. It's like a, It's like an RTS that doesn't require much effort. I like it. Like, I can control them, generally, and tell them where to go, but I don't have to, like, be super good and focus on my APM and whatnot. Just sort of exist, and they do their thing. I got three hive spawning creatures. I need to increase my hive size, I think. That's going to be crucial to not lose. I'm at 130 right now, and I've been there since the beginning of the game. And having more buggos means more dead humans. And as I'm sure it's quite obvious, I'm not really pun puncturing their defenses particularly well at this stage. Increasing my buggos' speed might be good too, because they don't get to close distance fast enough. Can we call you Kerrigan, Queen of Blades? I mean, you can call me whatever. As long as it's not late for supper. <laughs> uh. But yeah, no, I don't know. Here, go for it. <laughs> wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, considering I haven't <laughs> played StarCraft, and I wouldn't really understand the reference, but I know that's a StarCraft thing. I've heard that name before. Run! Run, Builder, run! Build the turrets! Yes. I played Heroes of the Storm? I'll only a little bit. I didn't like it as much as League, so I stopped playing it. Unless, of course, Heroes of the Storm wants to sponsor me, in which case I love Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> but no, really, I haven't played much of it. 
I think I played it around the time, like right before they introduced the Overwatch characters to it. I played it around that time. Or was it always like that? Maybe it was always like that, and I don't remember, but... That's all I remember. Something 2017-ish. Yeah, maybe. That sounds about right. It was a long time ago. Whatever it was. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we're having a hard time. I, need, I might need to post up over here, and then rush straight in. Because having them, like, walk around this corner slowly isn't working out for me. And I don't need any more builders at all, so we're fine on that. They're already set to attack damage increase. So they're killing as fast as they're able to, feasibly. I may have to, like, push in slowly and build on the way. But turn off spawning down here. Turn off swarm spawns and make builders only. Then I can build these turrets there and have everybody rush in here. Maybe that'll work out. Hey, Fishy, how you doing? Horn was your last league champ? Yeah, something like that. Last time I regularly played league. I have played it since, but I haven't like played it like a lot since. And the only time I played league was like either a ram or or. Uh, 1v1 with a friend. You good, thank you? Oh, grinding out Factorio. Oh, nice. I haven't played Factorio in, like, forever, but I'm not sure uh, if I want to or not, because yeah, I remember being really stressful. <laughs> and overwhelming. But it's cool. I like it as a concept. I do want to try it, I think, but... Don't know when. Some point. Aram is Giga Chad. Aram's a lot of fun. It I like I like that I ha it forces me to choose champions I'm not familiar with. Otherwise, I would just stick playing like <laughs> you know, um, Garen and <laughs> Ramus. You know, Soraka. Factory must survive. Factory must grow. It's stressful until you learn it, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I guess that's most things. This is a really, like, hard <laughs> mission to bust through. My forward turrets need to be built, but I need to, like, push forward enough to, like, get in there. It's a really rough chuck choke, choke point? Choke point. Go, go, go! Quickly, build! <laughs> build on the corpses of your fallen brethren. I think I will have to invest in more health or more speed. <laughs> get, get, stop shooting them! There you go. Oh, it got blown up quick, but at least <laughs> at least it gets rebuilt automatically. Gil. Oh, <laughs> immediately destroyed again. Don't make me more make more hives. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, look what you made me do. I made more hives. I'll stop producing from here. That way we only produce up here so we can attack faster. <laughs> or in the fire below the mountain, at least say 2017. October 23rd. Or, no, that's not October, is it? It's August. October's the 10th month because somebody decided to add July and June to the calendar for whatever reason. Chuck, couldn't chuck point. What? 
<laughs> what? Stop assaulting the, the territories. <laughs> now group up, turn off builders. Actually send all my builders over this direction so they die so I have more spawn. <laughs> Don't know you're paraphrasing me. Did I say something like that? They destroyed my turrets immediately. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to start doing something to like help the defense of my bugs. De defense, health, or speed. Something, something needs to change. It's getting to a point where it's difficult to like push forward enough to like win. They're very, very clearly holding me off right here. I'm the bug. <laughs> I'm the bug trying to kill all the humans. It's looking like a true Norn Queen. I mean, I have endless hordes of bugs to murder anybody who needs murdering. I wish that this gave me more defense as well. It only gives me attack, which is fine, but not enough. I can just force build more <laughs> more turrets. That might help. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bug who landed on this planet because the hive lord on my old planet told me I wasn't allowed to murder people. But now I, I came to this planet to murder people. It's a good story. We've got, we've got defenses up now. I can probably build up piece by piece like that. Might be my only way to do it right now. Up until uh, the point where I can push in and stop them existing. We got the goo, but the goo doesn't give us any defenses yet, because so I haven't upgraded it enough yet. This is only a level 2 mission, or like a 2 difficulty mission. Or it's like a 4 difficulty, and it only gives you 2 rewards, something like that. The Norn Queen, also known as Splicer Beasts, are the productive parts of Tyranid Swarm. They live upon massive hive ships and huge chambers at the center of the hive fleet and ingest genetic materials, churning out all the countless types of creatures that make up the Hyranid. The Hyranid Tier Fleet? The Tyranid Hive Fleet. All Tyranids have links back to Norn Queens, as they only aim for Tyranids to reproduce is via the cloning technique. It is said that they lead the Tyranid forces and direct the evolution of the Tyranid race. Well, I'm I'm certain to evolve fire resistance right now, considering <laughs> all this happening. I guess I could stop my builder's production, because they're just struggling to live here. Send them into their death bring back all these so I can have like one proper assault. <laughs> There's gonna be such a big like disparage. Not disparage, a disparity between the the, the, the two factions. These are the, the Marines range is the same as these turrets are. Go builders, go! Sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Crimson Queen, yes. Slay Queen. Okay. Attack, damage, all out. Charge, my buggos. Kill. Throw your bodies upon the pyre. I will walk upon or fallen corpses. To achieve my goal is to destroy all of humanity on this weird planet that I'm on.
Alright, that went well. What do I need to get most of all? More swarm probably wouldn't hurt. I have very little swarm. I, well, not little, but I have 130, which is, you know, 30 more than default. And I've gotten, like, the 10th level, or the 7th level, something like that. 3,000 casualties to 500. Not a great number. So I have three, no, two, I have two upgrade points. I can get larger swarm capacity, or I could start specking into, like, the greater goo and going for, like, goo tactics. I wanted goo on death, but that might not be useful without, like, offensive goo tactics. I could also go for the construction squad, then the titan. The titan might be the way to go here. Maybe I'll do that. Start with 20 builders, and then the titan. Yes, the titan. What is weightlifting? Oh, it's waiting. I see. Okay, now we're looking, looking pretty good. That was only level 3? Oh, it was this one, level 4. Makeshift barricade. 5 out of 10 very dangerous humans. Ooh, they got a lot of barriers. Gonna be a rough one. Although they aren't gonna be able to fight back, so as long as I don't push forward, we're okay. Turn off production on everything other than the builders for now. I'm going to produce as much goo as possible. Are they wearing pillowcases? What? What are? <laughs> What's wearing pillowcases? Oh, these. The, the humans? They're wearing little outfits, you know. Civilians, you know. They're like they're like um like robes, you know, like togas. Not togas, what are they called? The other ones, the, the ones with collars. <laughs> anyway. They're fine. They look stylish. You're just jealous. That you wish you had a weird shirt. It went all the way down to your knees. They're wearing a toga with a tie. Yeah, there you go. It's a formal toga. I guess that must be the Titan. Any new units I need to worry about here? Nope, just a bunch of flamethrowers. I'm going to increase my hive production as I advance forward. Actually, I don't really need to do that, do I? There's no turrets to stop me, so I could just build them up here. That. Make an incredible amount of builders. <laughs> What's the egg? The egg is the titan egg. It's a new unit I just unlocked. Apparently, it's incredibly powerful, but it uses a lot of uh, food production up at the top here. So I don't want to spawn it until I know I'm going to use it. Although it, avoid, it apparently ignores unit cap, so I could just build one now and have it hang out. Without using up units' spaces. Yeah, I have to send my builders into it to deliver nutrients, so it'll take a bit. Go, my builders. Oh, no, they don't. I thought they did. I guess it just I guess it just generates its own nutrients. Oop, my bugs are getting ambitious. <laughs> Streamer bathwater nutrients. Look, don't reveal my secrets, alright? Gotta make money somehow. Titan's nearly completed. The Titan! Enormous bug with extreme health. It smashes its armored skull onto those it attacks. It has five armor. I think that's stronger than anybody does. Two damage. Two damage. Yeah, yeah. 
four, yeah, no, two damage, yeah. Two damage, unless there's a turret here. I can just send that <laughs> that single unit in to attack, and it won't even die. It's too strong to die. <laughs> Titan will solo this, yeah. Just go in. <laughs> just go in and do some work. Oh, it is, it is taking damage, so maybe it, maybe it reduces damage to one. It's taking a lot of damage, considering. <laughs> Just attack the, the guys attacking you, you'll be fine. I suppose for balancing purposes, that makes sense. Oh, the Titan built the egg is just building. I didn't realize that would keep on going. Well, that's convenient. There's more Titans. I got the resources for it now, so I should be fine. I should probably build defenses to make sure that I don't get um, attacked by the enemies if my Titans happen to fall. I might also unping that so they just do their thing. Are they regenerating health? No, they're just really, really tanky. I might even make more Titans. Is that going to be a too much? Maybe. <laughs> it feels a bit excessive. No, they broke in. Darn you, Titans. You've ruined me. As soon as we get the um, the walls up and running, I won't be afraid anymore. I'll probably build that first. Because they're going to just unlock the, the door to fight me out here. Three more titans incoming. Come on, build the turret. Okay, don't, don't bother, I guess. Just keep on keeping on. Fine, I'm sure. Maybe I'll pull all my titans back for now. And <laughs> have a titan wave. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of damage coming in. Okay, that's, that's going to be a rough one to fight. It's a lot of enemies just blasting away. No, don't attack the walls. Don't unleash the horde. I didn't increase my... <laughs> I didn't increase my, like, swarm size like I said I should. So, so I don't really know if I'll be able to handle that. The titans I bought on a whim because I thought they'd be fun, but <laughs> there's a lot of soldiers there attacking. And these things don't attack very quickly. And they'll probably wipe out the whole area. I'm making more than enough, like, bug soldiers. I do need more hives, I think. Closer. Turn off nutrient goo so they just go up and build faster. I may also turn off production of these two so I get only bug only the builders for a while. I am also gonna turn off these so they don't produce so far away. The swarm is not gonna be enough. Titans go. Oh, maybe do the Titans only produce when there's no, no, they don't. Do they? Okay, yeah, yeah. I thought maybe they only produced when there was, um... The one that spawned the egg died. 
but it seems fine. Okay, now I can turn off this one because I built one closer. And make the builder bugs go down there. Uh, build these things around the outskirts. <laughs> Hopefully that will help defend me against the oncoming horde. They die so fast. I just need distractions for building the turrets. Increasing the turret range, or increasing, like, <laughs> the bug armor or something would have been a better option, I think. And the swarm size, of course. I need to get rid of those soldiers more than anything. There's only two bases here, which means if I can take out some of their soldiers, they can't produce that quickly. Okay, all my, all my soldiers, all, all my builders go. I need you to build up here. I'm gonna turn on production for the other units now. Turn on attack mode. I'm gonna turn on production mode actually. That way I can build and get them out faster because they're gonna get killed pretty quickly. Yeah, we're gonna be alright. As long as they actually build instead of attacking, we should be fine. Clint. <laughs> it's poor Titans. I'm glad that doesn't make me impossible to stop, <laughs> I guess. Uh, they're just going to keep on killing all my bullets. Oh, almost. Which one's going to build that last bit? Yeah, there you go. And we win, nice. Well, we won that exchange there, specifically. <laughs> I suppose there's a lot going on on the screen at once, and I was looking directly here instead of everywhere. Okay, get rid of that. Stop producing here. Yeah, we're definitely out swarming them, but that's not going to last super long, I don't think. I'd hazard a guess that um, pretty soon the, uh, <laughs> they're going to definitely be stronger than I am. I think swarm size, even though it's a bit of a boring upgrade, might be the way to go next. me faster than I'm making. Are my titans still producing? They are not. Oh, maybe maybe I did need um, builders to produce. I thought I had. I thought they would just take nutrients naturally, but maybe I actually do need them to go at it. Oh yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. No, that can't be right. Those are producing way too fast. Yeah, maybe. Oh, they build it and then they produce it. Okay, I see. That's what was happening. So I do need to have builders producing, too, just to make sure that they get in there and build the Titan eggs. Which I can get more of, I feel like, it for fun. I have, I have 18,000 resources. Yeah, you know, I take 500, just a million Titans. That's probably not a bad idea. Definitely. Build my Titan hordes. that hasn't been built yet and it's bothering me. It's also these two here, but that's because these two ones already produced. That's using up a lot of <laughs> a lot of my resources. Okay, turn off builders. Make every other unit just hang out back here. Then I'll send them all in at once. They they're lost a lot. They're not gonna live for this for much longer here. Actually, I'll send all the builders into here just to go get eaten. Are the Titans produce like taking a certain number per second? Did I misread what they do? Maybe. They're using a lot. Not 500 per second a lot, but it is a lot. I also did build a lot, so that's probably why. Okay, well, the, the hordes are full, so go. <laughs> Fight. 
get the Titan Hordes. I think that's probably enough to win without even worrying about the other bugs. No, they destroyed my turret. Swarmers, go. Save it. <laughs> Probably too much, too many titans. Maybe I'll use them sparingly to, to keep the challenge of the game. Whatever challenge there is. Yay! 2,000 bugs killed. Easy. Didn't even struggle. 4 out of 10 dangerous humans. Rat-like large city... Were alien bugs? Uh, shifty military outpost. That's what I want. Okay, I'm going to spend all of my resources on swarm capacity, I think. Yeah. More buggos. Even more buggos. That goes up a lot. It goes all the way up to there. Jeez. Egg twins. What is that? Sometimes your eggs spawn twins. Oh, interesting. Twin juices. Gross. Evolve a large chance to duplicate some spawns for free. Hmm. Ooh, spine or damage might be a good idea. They shoot two spines instead of one when attacking. It's really good, actually. And increasing their range is probably smart to do. So many evolutions. There's so many evolutions. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Shifty military outpost. Bugs. Alright, we're fine. They're not they're they're purely defensive, so make sure everything stays down here and produce around this area while I slowly <laughs> produce upwards. What's my current cap? 190. So I've increased it by 60. I think for the sake of balance, I'm going to restrict myself to one Titan at a time. Like one Titan egg at a time. And <laughs> clearly, they're very strong in large groups. And late game, when you have you know 20,000 resources, it's not too hard to get a bunch of Titans. Unless I'm literally about to lose, I think I'll hold off on building an outrageous amount of them. What's the fun of, like, you know, not... It's, it's fun to stomp things every once in a while. Why not, you know? Yeah, how close can I get? Right to there, alright. The, the, the edge of this the spawn area is here. The edge of the, the, the fire zone. If I had the spawn goo on death, I'd be able to rush them up here and let them die and spawn more goo. I, I really want those goo upgrades, actually. To spawn the goo as they die and to like give goo increase to movement speed and defense and stuff sounds fantastic. Sounds like it could be really strong. so I can use my builders uh, or use my uh, <laughs> my production spawn goo down here too please I need goo everywhere in there here in a second now that I've <laughs> maxed out on 
builder production. I have to send all my builders in to perish. How does the goo help me? Uh, it gives me more nutrient production, so I get more uh, spawning stats, I guess. It must be spawn more in our allies. Apparently you can get upgrades to give it to make it give you buffs as well, but I haven't unlocked those yet. I haven't evolved those. I turn on builds. I need regular allies. No, my poor bugs. How could this have happened? It's nice that, it, that they can't like, clear out the goo. If they could, it'd be really annoying. I would have to make an effort to produce more. That seems like a pretty well-made enclosure. Oh, they've cut themselves off a lot, so I think I'm probably safe. If they had like conglomerated all at once, it'd be a lot harder. I'm pretty sure this will be pretty easy to breach. Just turn on the attack mode and then send everything in. I'll lose a lot, but we'll bust in pretty easily, I think. Yes. Yes. They can't stop us. We've reached the perimeter. We destroyed their defenses. Now we invade. And I turn the builders back on. To spread the goo. I should probably increase the influence at some point. It's not urgent, but being able to force them to attack certain targets instead of whatever they feel like attacking would really help. Because right now they're just attacking these buildings, which I don't need. I need them to destroy this building and these turrets. But we're still going to be fine. But we had like a prime opportunity to, to wipe out that building immediately just then, but because there was nothing attacking us, but we just didn't do it. We still have the numbers to just keep sending in slowly. Might pull back a bit though, just to be on the safe side. Okay, we'll have to push in to kill off these guys so they stop attacking me so I can build these turrets. at this stage, everything's dead. Alright, well, I probably have enough units to just rush in there and finish off this group. So I'll preempt the uh, turrets. Actually, it's in range 9, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. And I'll move my hives up to here. Start cancelling this hives so they don't produce quite as much. There's a lot of them and I don't need that many to produce nothing. Attack all of our humans, please. They've actually got a, a through way this time, though, so I don't have, like, all the time in the world to, to spawn my turrets and things. because I got my other ones up there now. So I don't need to have the lower spawners going. If I got the shooter bugs go in there, they can outrange the turrets, kind of, not really. Enough that they can like hang out back here and shoot here so that you can't harm my da damage my turrets and things. Go, go, go. Attack. Turn off builders again. I won't need them for a while. I 
need to get flesh walls too. That way I can build my own defenses and choke points. I think that'll be like, like crucial to survival soon. It's like this one flamethrower is like causing me so much problems. <laughs> I couldn't even like push past them. Like these, con combined with these turrets, that flamethrower had too much health to like, deal with. Yeah, I'm gonna turn up spawn rates and maybe force the these bugs to build more goo down here where I haven't built it yet. I need to like have them run back here, just hang out. So I can get a full-on, like, attack. Luckily, my little turret things are working pretty well. If I increase the range of those, I think it'll be better than what I'm doing now. Because the range is important, and if I can outrange my enemies, then I'm not too worried about it. These guys have short range, so I can outrange them, but they have a lot of armor, so they can kill my turrets before I can kill them. Whereas these guys have the same range as my turrets, but... Uh, these actually have a little bit more. But, the, uh... They have a lot, very much little health and no armor. I can blast them. Okay. So, move the builder bugs up here, turn builder bug production back on, turn on attack mode, and... Fight my bugs! Kill! As many of you, and only few of them, is what I will tell you. <laughs> You'll have to believe me. Just trust that I know what's best. Time for eggs? <laughs> yeah, this works. I could do the eggs, but I think I think this is okay for now. <laughs> the bugs aren't like super strong, but there are a lot of them. Can you finish producing that, please? I'm <laughs> just like waiting for you to like spread the goo. Okay, this will give me an opportunity to move my turrets up further. Once they finally get all this goo placed down, I'll send them off to over there to build. Actually, I might do that now. Because they're going to have a hard time now that they've um, <laughs> been purged. They're just like slowly encroaching. Turn off builders. I might actually build another hive or two here. To increase. Oh god, symmetry please. I know we're bugs, but we're not barbarians. Yeah, they're pushing back, so I need to I need to get more production up. Spawn faster. I've given them too much ground. They've pushed past their initial walls into my territory now. I can turn off builders again. Rush forward with everything. Need a little bit of room to get the builders in here to build up these structures, these turrets to defend me <laughs> from the flamethrowers. more humans back here. How bad is this down here? Oh, there's a lot of them down there. But they're spread out, so it shouldn't be an issue. Get all the way in there. Builders are reaching the location. Turn off goo so they start, like, getting in there faster. Part of the reason the advancement is so hard is because I haven't increased the speed of any of my bugs. So they only move like a few tiles at a time. Like two, I think. Yeah. They move to be three, so they move three tiles at a time. I'm gonna move our hives up or 
little bit. Just a couple of them, not all of them. I don't need these turrets built now, but I am going to put them down. Just so I remember to put them down later. Make another defensive front since I don't have walls. Attack! All of you! We just need to make it to this building here and destroy that, and then we'll start winning pretty quickly. I'm going to put down one Titan Egg as well. I'm going to keep it one Titan Egg because they're too strong, <laughs> so I'm going to make it one at a time. go in another wave. Builder bugs back on. No, my turret. Oh man, those things just purge those turrets quick like. Okay. All in. Go, go, go. Kill! Murder! Maim! Eviscerate! Expunge? Eat? Feast? <laughs> Whatever. One of those words works. These flamethrowers attack really quickly. The titans are strong, but because the flamethrowers attack like three times a second or whatever, that 150 health or whatever it is doesn't last long. Also, the flames may stay on target for longer than it seems like they should. I like, like, sorry, not that they should, but like it might, they might do like a DOT as well. I can't tell. Nothing stays alive long enough to notice. But we have another Titan coming in. have our turrets built. I may move these hives up here and get rid of some of these. Actually get rid of this one and put this one back on. I want builders to come out of here to like add resources to those titan eggs when they come up. Okay, I think we're good now. I'm gonna start finishing off these turrets. Eventually, we'll just sort of overpower them through sheer numbers. <laughs> it's taken a while, but we'll get there. If it wasn't for those flamethrowers being able to like, wipe out every single one of my bugs instantly, <laughs> it would be a lot faster. I may have to even pull them back, actually. strong. I don't know what other, like, building upgrades I have, but maybe I should look at those. Okay. Attack mode on. Full steam ahead. That flamethrower is like the bane of my existence. It's the only thing that needs to be killed. Everything else can be handled pretty easily, but the, the flamethrowers are very strong. Yes. We are pushed forward and conquered. 
turn off everything that isn't the builder and send everything else down here to die while I increase my defenses. Yeah, they definitely seem to have, like, some sort of tactical mind. Because they do attack when I'm, like, changing my build order. Or when I'm, like, finished destroying one of their other bases. They seem to have, like, an idea of when to attack me. Oh, did I misjudge the distance? I did. Whoops. That one's... yeah, no, no, it's not good. No, they also have hordes of humans that they're sending in when they shouldn't be sent in. Okay, I can actually move the Titan back, because it's gonna... now. Well, you know what, just go for it. <laughs> just go for it, I guess. Okay, builders, how about it? I'm gonna build some more hives up here. I don't think I'll need these, but... Actually, I'll probably do that instead. Those aren't, that one's not necessary. I don't need these anymore. Okay. Send all in. And then change production back to the regular ones. Good luck, builders. attack those turrets like one time. <laughs> the titan's so strong, but it just refuses to attack the turrets. Bloodthirsty. It wants the humans. I mean, who wouldn't, really? There's a, there's a lot of enemies down here to deal with still. 190 bugs. And we're still struggling. Once this one spawns, I'm going to delete it. So that I can only have one egg on the field. Kill the unit, whoops. Well. I wasn't lying. I, I did I did delete the structure. Okay, we're doing alright. It's gonna be kind of a hard push at the very end here. We got the Titan Egg building. We're not gonna have time to wait for it though. Move the builders over here, please. I'd like them to <laughs> build more goo, I guess. I don't need more goo. But you know. Nothing else for them to do right now. I guess I can just go in. Just all attack. All attack full. I have to get rid of these turrets so I can build closer. Right here is the next wave. Maybe I should build these closer together. Because one turret can't kill the flamethrowers, but two turrets probably could. Maybe if I build them like this, like in pairs, that would be more efficient because they wouldn't get destroyed nearly as often. Because they'd actually be able to, like, fight back. Can somebody destroy this? I need to destroy these turrets. I don't care about the other stuff. Give to the turrets, please. They have a lot of range. They do a lot of damage. Stop attacking my stuff. Flamethrowers, you scumbags. I'm usually the one who does the purging on this channel. Yeah, see, if I had if I had the ability to build walls, I could, like, sort of force them to go a certain direction. I could choke point them myself. Right now they're going, like, the most convenient location to like, get into my base, because they're going up here, so they don't have any reason to go this direction. So they're going up here and around, whereas instead of... I, I could force them to go, like, directly into my middle kill box. Okay. 
Move back here. Get the builders to build. We've got our defensive towers now. Should be enough to wipe out the flamer before they can actually flame me. Yeah, see, they have like a damage over time effect too. Everybody go down here and just attack. Actually, I might force them to attack that turret. So many upgrades and so many of them I want. But I, but I really should pick the ones that make the most sense. I don't need any more nutrient goo. There's, there's far too much on the map already. The goo doesn't do anything for me yet, so I don't need the whole map covered in it. Get rid of that one. Stop that one. We're going to have to move the spawners up, I think. I'm going to need to push forward again here. Make a staging ground for my assault. <laughs> poor, that poor Titan. Rip. Yeah, the, the double assault tower thing was a good idea, I think. Almost got a full swarm. No more titans, but everything else is ready. So many little upgrades that can make my bugs so much stronger. Like the one that gives the the spikers, what they're called, the, these guys, spiners. The one that gives them double attacks or like extended range would be so useful. But I just haven't put anything into it because it doesn't seem like as as useful as like buildings or the titan stuff like that. But there's so many of them that having them have a little bit extra range and then having them fire twice will just do so much damage, like, out of nowhere. Like, if I can outrange these generic soldiers with these guys, then we're, we're like, living, we're sitting pretty, right? We're, like, easy peasy, no problem at all. Because they only have attack range 2, whereas these guys have attack range 4. But I think I can boost it by, like, 1? total, so I can get attack range 3, which means I can get into combat and then fire twice. I think that'd be better. Hey, Bird, how you doing? It's going alright? Just being bugs? Killing soldiers? You know how it is. Eating humans? Doing great? I'm glad to hear it. Thrower. Yes. The relentless bug hordes. It's a good thing I don't have like a limited number of resources. <laughs> it's a good thing they can't like push forward on me at all. I mean, I'm sure they will eventually, but right now it's fine. These flamethrowers are just like the bane of my existence. They're so strong. Never seen this game before? It's called Buggos. It's like an RTS, but it takes a lot less effort. I don't need I don't need the APMs of like a god to play it. I just have general control of my creatures, and then I send them in to do things. And sometimes they succeed, and sometimes they don't. The Titan's taken a lot of damage, and it hasn't even gotten into combat yet. Attack. It's pretty fun. I like it. I figured I needed a game for a one-off before I began my next game. Wait, is that right? Yeah, before I begin my next tactical game, I wanted a game to do, like, a one-off on. And this one works. <laughs> Is that your only bug emote? <laughs> the ladybug. Wow, that titan's just going ham. Holy crap. Get some... Aw, oh, dang, he died. <laughs> in the end. But we got, we got in, so that's something. I can build more turrets now to 
defend me. Taking one side. I think it's probably better to take one side and then, like, crawl around the edges. Maybe you can build a hive or two here. <laughs> and the boogie, yeah. Initially, I had that emote um, switching back and forth. So it was going on either side, but Twitch didn't like that for some reason, and it would like make it lag really badly when it tried to switch. Which is weird. I don't know why, because that doesn't make any sense. Because it's just a GIF file. But I, when I was looking at it on my PC, it was it was like running perfectly fine. But whenever I would upload, when I uploaded this Twitch, it like when it would go from like right to left, it would have like a, like a stutter where it just kind of like stopped moving, and then it would just go and do it a little bit, and it would only do like half of it. And then it would go back to the other side and do the full thing, and then it would do half the other thing. So I don't know if there's like a, a, a time limit. But I've seen emotes that last longer. But surely that's not it. But I have no idea what caused it, and I, I couldn't be bothered to like fiddle around to figure it out. So I just kept it going on one side. It gets the point across. <laughs> I think I think that dance is called the monkey. I only know it from Johnny Bravo because I used to love I used to love watching Johnny Bravo. And of course, that's still one of my favorite emotes. The bongo grim is very fun. Yes, kill. We are succeeding. I like how I said, oh, we need to like advance up one side, and then I immediately just ignored that and went straight for it. I don't actually need these up here anymore. I can just get this one building. That's all I need, that one building. There's so many marines just blasting my buggos that I can't get close enough. That one almost made it right there. I'll have to pull back and wait a bit. Those flamethrowers are going to be... a problem. Kill! Kill! I guess go in while the Titan's alive, because it's going to die pretty quick with those flamethrowers having at it. Yep, there it goes. Okay, turn off builders. Post up back here. And then increase production. Increase spawn, I guess. If I'm struggling, I do still have the Titan Swarm. I just choose not to do that because it's obviously too strong. <laughs> It, it really, it really wins quickly, but it is a potential wind condition if I need this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 190 of my buggiest bugs. Go. Oh, the Titan. It's the last bastion. It's the horde. Oh, 
Oh, there it goes. They have no more soldiers left. No more soldier production left. They got one guy right here all by his lonesome. Retreat. It's time to send the builder swarm after him for fun. Go, my builders. My weakest unit. Insult them. Let them know how outclassed they are by my builders. Yes. <laughs> I lost 8,000 bugs. Ooh. Evolution. Alright, what do I want? What was I talking about needing in that fight? I wanted to get the goo better, didn't I? I wanted walls too, actually. Flesh walls, what I want. That way I can block off enemies so they don't push through in weird ways. Greater goo and goo on death. But I'd actually, no, I don't want goo on death. I want armor on goo, I think. That me that makes more sense. Although speed on goo is pretty good because that'll allow my bugs to like get from their spawn point to the, the fight faster. This is very defensive. I don't need that. Let's do speed goo. And then I'll upgrade goo as I go. Okay, where is this? 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. Fortified settlement. A very painful experience. Nice. Now make the goo. Build only builders. I guess I need food production still. I got flesh walls. Uh, they're defensive again. They actually do have an outlet where they can attack me, so I should probably put up some defenses up here before it becomes too late. They're coming right for me immediately. <laughs> okay, we have our defenses. You know, for whenever they're necessary. The speed on goo seems pretty good. They're running real quick, like. Look how fast they move on the goo, jeez. Aha, you fool! I had defenses ready. There's no way they can get me from here. Uh, okay, it's not too bad. I can destroy their housing, which I assume, like I said before, I assume this is how many humans they're allowed to have. So if I get rid of all these, it would be pretty fast. It clearly wants me to go up that direction and avoid this way. But maybe it's better to come over here and destroy these guys. It's not a very defensible position, and they can't get reinforcements. But I worry it would unlock this section, which would just add another avenue I have to defend against. Whereas I could just go up here and then set up a defensive structure, like here. And then come down here and do it, and then go along this way, that way I can pincer. Maybe that's a better move. Uh oh, we got... We got flamers. Flamers coming in. I need to put down... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna need to put down some, some turrets to defend here. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is a point where the the goo is actually like offensive. So I can use it to close distance really quickly. So it actually is beneficial to me to um have it like setting up my assault yeah and I won't need this now but I will set it up anyway just be sure one two three four five six seven eight nine Imagine <laughs> imagine a situation where your planet gets invaded by sentient bugs and they learn your exact ra like effective range for your guns and build their structures immediately outside that range. 
How terrifying <laughs> would it be? Like, you can't hurt them because your your laser guns have petered out at this range. Like, I mean, like you see that, like a bug every once in a while comes like scouting out and you blast them because they're probing your defenses or whatever. But like, oh god, imagine, just imagine that nightmarish. I mean, obviously, I can easily just swarm them to death, no problems, but showing, like, some sort of, like, <laughs> knowledge of tactics from giant insects that have invaded your world would be awful. You don't need intelligence to end up at exactly that range. I suppose, yeah. But I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> without, without, like, the pot shots, right? Like, because now I can, like, I'm being killed at that range, so clearly my defenses wouldn't go past this point because there'd be no danger. But imagine the buildings popping up before I reach that range, as if they know beforehand. Also, it could just be like a, like a, like a soldier's tale, you know, like a, oh, they knew the range of our guns. They're so smart and scary kind of thing, right? <laughs> you know, like soldiers do. They talk about things. Probably. I don't know why I just put those up there. I wanted to kill off my builders. They, <laughs> it's where they naturally end up when everything else gets closer gets destroyed. Yeah, I know. But before before they get destroyed, you know, if they started building the structures before they got destroyed. I mean, it would it would eventually end up there regardless because of the them getting killed sort of situation, but before they get killed, if they just happen to know, it'd be a lot scarier. Kill! If I had any control over their um, their individual movements, I would prevent them from probing the defenses of the enemy, but I don't have that much control over them. I can just give them a vague idea of where I want them to hang out. Go, kill! Tear the flesh from their bones and then feast on their entrails. Yeah. Only a dead human is a good human. Let, let the truth be known. Okay, so this whole section's done. I don't need to worry about it anymore. I'll put up some defenses to protect myself, but we're good for now. I will, however, build some defenses as well. Flesh walls. Squishy flesh walls. I assume my turrets can fire over them, because their turrets can fire over their walls, but... I have no guarantee that is the case. I might build some more hives along the place. For the sake of it. Turn on builders again. Send my fleet of buggos to attack. Down here? Probably move them down here, actually, just to make that a little bit easier, because they're definitely going to, like, run down through this section, no matter what. But if I kind of guide them better, it might work. Or they might have the, the brain power to realize they can't bust through this gate here and just move down themselves. Oh, yeah, it's working. All right, cool. What I really need is the, uh, the builder bugs to make more goo so I can attack faster. Do I have a new unit? Or a new building, at least? Uh, I have flesh walls. You can build walls of flesh. That's a new building. <laughs> Ow. Kidding me. Delicious. Yes. Tasty walls of flesh. 
they allow me to <laughs> cordon off certain areas so that I don't get attacked from that angle. I imagine they can attack them just like I can attack their walls, but they probably would take the path of least resistance, I would assume, in most situations. Okay, we got that handled. I need my builder bugs up there. I can unlock new new units if I feel like it. Like I have like these two buildings I haven't unlocked yet in this building down here. And there was other types of units I could probably get inside the the, the skill tree, but I was avoiding them because I was getting I was making sure these ones were strong enough to like help me. The new units might be fun to try out, but they all do. Destroy the outpost. Yes, they don't stand a chance. I'd rather they didn't bust in there right now, but I'm not going to be able to stop them, so just have at it, I guess. <laughs> or it's fine. down here. Well, I might put a hive like right here actually. I want hives fairly close to their defenses so I can get in there and you know handle them. Oh, there they come. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, that's really not good. They came out very quickly. As soon as I opened up that wall, they came right for me. Imagine that. Decided that I might be a threat. Go, go, my bugs. Go, my builder bugs. Kill. Yeah, I can get rid of the furthest back spawners. I don't need those anymore. This is probably okay for now. Oof, destroying my base. Like my, my new spawner immediately. But I'm building it faster than they can, like, kill me, so I guess it's probably fine. <laughs> Just a builder swarm. Oh, they're really coming at me, huh? I think I can handle those guys. Yeah. I wanted to build more turrets up here, but I need that flamethrower to die. <laughs> As long as we get a little bit of defense up, we're, up, we're fine, I think. We can also build some defensive structure walls. Sort of help them not get immediately blasted. I'm producing more <laughs> builders than they can kill. Which is surprising, considering they're my weakest units. It's probably because they don't have enough flamethrowers, I would assume. Okay, I've got another one, so we're going to give it to that one. I'll probably cordon off this whole section, but I guess I need to... I, I was trying to do that, but I couldn't get it in time. So, start producing everything. Send the builders over this direction. Try and get these hives up. Yeah, we're making it. We're doing work. It's getting a bit dead, but, you know... <laughs> We're running out of units, as you can see over here. It's going down faster than I'm making them, but it's okay. We're getting another hive up. We'll get up eventually. Enough bugs swarm in there. I say is it's definitely not getting up any further or faster. Although we are getting more goop up here, which is nice. 
Ah, oh, nice. We got rid of one of their spawners. They are billions. That is a game I want to play. I don't own it, though. It never goes on sale for more than, like, $25. I'm sure the game is worth it. It looks really fun. But, boy, it's always expensive. You know, for what it is. But it looks so fun. I really want to play it. But it's so expensive. Okay, the, the, the combat units have finally died, so we can finally get our bugs over here to build this hive. Which are require more Vespine gas. Yeah, exactly, you get it. Those turrets have been really useful. Do they heal? Wow, 13 health. Do they always have 13 health? Oh, 15. Oh, okay. Huh. They've been very useful, those turrets. Just defending that one side pretty consistently. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna actually start <laughs> trying to play tactically now. Now that I've gotten a bit of their defenses down and they've died mostly, try and get those walls up so I can get the defenses built so I can actually deal with the enemies. I'm gonna take less spikers so that I can produce more units faster. I want more builders going basically. I'm also gonna increase spawn rate and reduce the attack damage. Not currently fighting. We're just trying to build. Yeah, the winter sales on Steam popped up, and this is like around the only time I buy games during the year. Because games are expensive. And, um, <laughs> I was like, I, I, I've had They Are Billions on my wish list for years. And I've always been waiting for it to drop below, like, $25. And I'm like, it never goes lower. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna eventually just have to bite the bullet and purchase it for $25. But, I'm really... <laughs> really try and hope it goes lower at some point. Okay. I'm gonna cancel all nodes. Put down everybody here. Put down one Titan egg. It looks like I'm playing on like two times speed because of how fast they're moving on the goo. About like five games already. Yeah, exactly. They're like I love, I love the Steam Winter Sales, but like I just, I haven't really bought anything yet because nothing, <laughs> nothing I want to buy is is more important than like, you know, food and stuff. Like I'd rather buy like good food than games. I got a lot of games to play anyway, but I always do love seeing the Winter Sales pop up because there's so many, so many cool games to just like try out and stuff. Games are all, most games are only getting better at this stage, right? The game I want? Uh, nothing. No games. <laughs> I, I want no games. I have too many. I have too many already. It's a mystery. <laughs> Who knows what game that would be? eat people? Uh, yeah, I mean, it could cause me some problems if I tried, you know. Might be a good solution, but I feel like maybe there's some some legal issues with me eating people. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but there's a lot of humans around, so if I am, I am short on food, I wouldn't hesitate exactly. Well, I might hesitate a little bit for appearances, but generally speaking... No, don't destroy that. I need no, you fools. I need that section. I don't want to have to police that whole area. Build the walls back. No, no hints. <laughs> it's definitely not StarCraft 2. I think I own StarCraft 2. Also, isn't StarCraft 2 free? Raid Shadow Legends. I think that's free, too. I need my, my builder bugs over here. They're not like... Build oh, I don't, ha I don't have any builder bugs. I was wondering why my builders weren't building. Lord VPN. Hey, look. I'm looking for sponsors, you know? I, I could talk good about products. 
If NordVPN wants to sponsor me, <laughs> I'll take the money. <laughs> Here's the storm. That's also free. NordVPN isn't free, though. Okay. I'm kind of struggling now. They're, they've got, like, a very defensible position that I can't really do anything about. I have to do the, like, sort of the spore launcher encroaching thing. I just sort of push forward with my, my beautiful guns. My launchers. Kill them. Kill them all. You tried sponsoring me and I said no. But your sponsor deal was more art. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if you want if you want to sponsor me through art, you'll have to find my other account and send me money there. Because <laughs> I won't do art on this this account anymore. Also, hey, how you doing? I don't like that they're attacking me. It's really annoying. It's been his profile pic ever since. I thought he, I thought he hated that joke. I thought you, you, ma you made me make it because it was like, har like harassing him or something. Hate slash loves it. All right, I see. I see. One of us. One of us. Oh no, the flamethrowers. I want my builder bones up here to like get off, cut off that section. Actually, I should probably get him, get this one built. They're running around the wrong side, but I'll probably get in there. He does hate it, but you think it's a personal thing that any art of his character does become his profile picture? Oh, I guess that's fun. A good idea. I suppose I'd probably do something similar if I. <laughs> If I had fan art, I'd probably be quite quite pleased about it too. Uh, I need to get rid of the horde of marines right here. Did I actually did I actually swear in that quote? It needs to be like genuine, like fan art. It can't, it can't just be, like, <laughs> thrown together. You, I, you could put a circle on a page and make it red and, and then draw a face on it. You can call that fan art, but I'm talking, like, genuine, like, an attempt. <laughs> unless, unless you, unless you actually try, in which case I'd be pleased, but, you know, <laughs> It's not like, let's not mass produce fan art here. Denied again. <laughs> I wouldn't say denied. Just stipulated, right? There's a, there's a restriction included in, in your fan arts. At least you thought it. At least I thought I swore in that quote. I definitely said something akin to that, but I don't think I swore when I said it. I feel like your kink is denying me. <laughs> Yes, yes. Do it too often. I just don't like being <laughs> complimented and like things like that. If that makes any sense. I mean, it makes perfect sense, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna pull back all my units and then come, go in for like a big, big rush. This is not working out very well. They keep they keep attacking this wall. Maybe I'll delete these walls here. I want them to come closer so they get into my turret range, but they're not doing that. I'm oh, still not in turret range. Is it because of this wall here? Maybe it's hard to say. Don't make me give you a Christmas gift, you little bastard. Don't do it. I beg of you. I don't like receiving gifts. It makes me feel super awkward. I appreciate them all, but don't... Please don't. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with it. It's art no matter how good it looks. That's true. I'm not I'm not saying it's not. I'm not it's not a skill issue. I'm just saying specifically that... I'd, I'd rather... If people want to put, like, genuine effort and time and love into something, I'm more than happy to accept it, but... 
if it's just like a like a joke throw away, throw away piece for a bit, then I don't really care about it. Although it might still be fun or funny, and still be I'd still be happy to see it, but I, I wouldn't use it like as a profile picture. Is all I'm saying. Good feel awkward. That's your kink. Uh, well, no kink shaming here. Just keep it, you know, <laughs> PG-17? I don't, like, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be, like, mature, but, like, <laughs> just be careful not to make it too, too salacious. Hey, area conquered. PG-69. <laughs> yes. All right, what am I doing? I was going to try and see if there's any new units I could afford. Uh, we got a Spiner. There's a new unit. There's a defender up here, a swarm mother over here. They're pretty far away, but I could get them. There's also a wasp, a boom slug, and a warrior. Hmm. I want to start building towards one of them. The defender. The swarm mother sounds like she might be pretty fun. What does she do? Allows spawning of the swarm mother. She's a mobile breeding colony and produces swarmers. Oh, cool. I got the titan. Ooh, regen aura. That sounds cool. Flesh walls would be pretty good. Can I add you on Steam, please? <sighs> Is there an alternative motive to your request? You would have put genuine effort into your twenty-second drawing. <laughs> All right. Well, look. If you if you if you send me a drawing, no. All right. Oh, I guess. it pops up. <laughs> just want a cool friend. Alright, well. We'll see. Um, allows more eggs to spawn at a time. That seems pretty good. And it will help me build towards the swarm mother. But I did want to build up my goo. Hmm. I'll do that, and I'll get goo on death. Rat-like large city. Extreme threat. Anyway, it's gonna head off. Gotta rest for new stream series tomorrow. Oh, cool. Exciting. Well then, have a good rest of your night. Sleep well. Thanks for popping in. Oh open defenses here. This is a really small city. Jeez. Well, I mean, it's not small, but, like, there's very few defenses. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I should, like, one, two, three. Is it, does it go diagonally nine? Or is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Sort of thing. It's diagonally nine. It'd be, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll be, like, all the way over here. to say. Hard to say. But I'm not too worried about this. Nothing's going to be able to kill me. Probably. I would assume. Presume? Guess? Hmm. Mr. Schumer, please check your whispers. Thanks. All right, hold on. Uh, all right. There you go. It is done. The deed has happened. <clears throat> Sorry. It's busy. 
looking at things. I guess I could just send them in. I don't want them to attack yet, but I do want... I guess I kind of want them to go up here. Maybe I'll send the swarmers up there and I'll leave the, uh... These ones to, like, defend. So hoping the builders would just kind of, like, push out and build more without me, like, prompting them. But they don't seem to. Which isn't, like, a big deal. I can easily just do this. Okay, that's where they seem to def defeat me, so I should probably not build past that location. Whisper him some links to non-lo-fi music for emotional damage. No! Check his links, but not yours. I check your links. You just have to send them to my whispers. Send them to my whispers and I'll see them. I did link that. I did, I did watch that, like, the dinosaur sound video. It's very spooky. <laughs> I'm not sure which one I disliked the most. There was one that just sort of sounded like a human yelling, which was really creepy, and I hated that. It sounded like chittering birds. Well, chittering birds if they were like a hundred, like thousand times the size of a regular bird, yeah. So their chittering was more like grumbling or like rumbling or whatever. It was awful. <laughs> I hated it, but it was cool. Can you just build that, please? Just put... Oh, I see. It's too close. That's why. I was wondering why it keeps getting destroyed. I wasn't paying attention. Dinosaurs are terrifying birds, after all. Well, yeah, it's not untrue. It's always so strange to see dinosaurs how they actually are. Because you, you're so used to, like... Oh, that's a lot of builders. So you used to, like, Jurassic Park's dinosaurs, where they're, like, not feathery and stuff. And then seeing, like, the Tyrannosaurus Rex being, like, feathery and have, like, little wings or whatever. <laughs> instead of, like, the normal, like, claws. It's super weird. I knew you had an alternative motive. How dare you. Thank you. I appreciate it, but... <laughs> How dare you? You're very kind. Slanishy artwork? No. No. Uh, oh, give me a second. I gotta be right back. I apologize. I heard something, so I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> I'll just leave it here. I'll leave, I'll leave it like so things just get murdered in front of you. There. Just enjoy that.
I'm back. Jeez. Sorry, a individual who shall not be named decided to knock over an object that will not be identified. And it made an awful noise, and I had to go check it out. No, back, you're new. You're not new. <laughs> what did you tell me that I had to run away? Yeah. Honey Pop. The joke's on you. I think I already own that one. Somebody else sent it to me a long time ago. <laughs> be funny if I lost the game while I was away. Oh, I can turn off this now, can't I? My joke content warning. Save that last servitor command. <laughs> it's all over. City is not surviving. It's okay. Kind of. Did we make no progress at all? After all that, <laughs> we didn't even push in at all. <laughs> Nothing. No. No damage. Tend to knocked over your Ferrari. I get it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It is what it is. God, I just can't get rid of him. Can you even lose this game? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. There's no restart button, but there's an overworld button, so it's been, might be able to lose it. Alright, bugs. Attack right here. Destroy that turret. Those four turrets. Well, not not destroying it yet, but we're getting there. It's kinda working. Definitely do my best to find out. Yeah. Well, you know, you gotta try, right? One Titan egg, please. Gotta try it. You gotta experiment. <laughs> they can't even get anywhere near. <laughs> like, they're just so bad. I need my builders to, like, expand my goo territory. So that we get faster approaches. Guess when humans attack, could lose in theory. Yeah. Very true. I mean, in theory. It'll definitely lose the mission. I don't know if it'll lose the game. I need, to, I need to focus here, please. That's the big one. Just those the spawners. I do want the turrets gone, because they're dangerous and do a lot of damage, but mostly I just need those buildings gone. I have no idea. A Tyranid Synapse creature was so chill. Literally autopilot your way to victory. Well, yeah, you know. We have uh, unending hordes. Countless billions of buggos at my disposal, you know. I'm going to get there eventually. This poor, poor Titan just getting shot. I don't even know why I ran over there. Oh, because I had a pin over there. Whoops. Yeah, it's fine. Just attack those. <laughs> With your... Okay, I'm gonna move up my turret defense. Like here. Beat up in a lazy boy. Well, yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's hard being a synapse creature, right? It's nice to have a little bit of a break every now and again. Go, go, go! Titan, fight! Watch these turrets go down in real time. Don't be distracted by the flesh. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get in there now. You attacked from the other angles, so and I was just gonna get shot like right when it breaks through. You don't need to destroy every wall. Just destroy the important ones. Now go for the turrets. No! Well, yeah, I mean, clearly. <laughs> Just make the walls out of something, the bugs. Like, make it out of, like, taro or whatever it's called. Bismuth or whatever that poison is. I don't know, it's not bismuth, but something else. <laughs> it starts with a B. Like the 
ant poison or whatever. Business is a rock or a, a mineral. Borax, yeah, that's it. Borax? Something like that, yeah. That's the stuff. The walls are sugar. It's <laughs> just a bunch of sugar ants. Just a, like just, just like a child's imagination. These are all like toy soldiers, and these are just sugar ants coming to it to steal the sugar cubes. Like a carpenter ant every once in a while. I could probably turn it to attack mode now that I've realized <laughs> it's not on attack mode. How much damage do these things do? 20 damage. These walls must have like 25 health or something. Oh, they have one armor, so they take away one damage. 4x assault, a hydrated or anhydrase borate of sodium and the chemical formula Na2H220B4O17. <laughs> okay, Alright. Uh, there's a colorless crystalline solid that dissolves in water to make a basic solution. It's also toxic to ants, apparently. I imagine it's toxic to most things. Okay, we're not really making any progress anymore, so let me just start attacking the outside structure so I can expand a bit. Attack from different angles. I suppose going through their choke point is probably the least tactical thing I could be doing. I mean, not the least tactical thing I could be doing, but certainly among the worst. I probably shouldn't build those walls, <laughs> considering that's in range of the turret. Yeah, you know. Kill. Looks like I already won. Yeah, I already won, but there's going to be a lot of soldiers up here. These flamethrower guys are really, really strong. Like, incredibly powerful. The turrets are annoying. The marines are kind of strong if there's a lot of them, but the, the flamethrowers can, like, murder my units quick. They have, like, three damage a second. Whereas these all do like one damage every second or something like that. Two damage every second. It's ridiculous. They're fast. They attack super quick. Uh, attack. Attack. I'll watch a flamethrower just as an example. Nope, well he's dead now. I guess if you just rush him with a million bugs, it works out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like one, one of these guys can take out like... 10 bugs before they reach him. Oh, nice. These work like walls for them, apparently. They sort of pen them in with their own buildings. Surely Titans beat Flamers? No. The Titans have a lot of health, but they're. and, and armor, but the Flamers attack so quickly that, like, they can murder them pretty quick. Like, I mean, one Titan can beat one Flamer easy, but because I can't, like, very directly control my units. A lot of the times, the uh, the Titans will just like get distracted by buildings or less important people and get murdered. They will win eventually, but depends on how quickly they spawn. Because just now they spawn like five more humans, and those humans I think turn into Marines, and the Marines might turn into Flamers. Yeah, I want to go up here. I might turn off the builder production completely for now. Builders aren't really doing anything. I kind of need them to, like, spread the goo for the assaults, but they're getting murdered as they approach, so it's probably not, like, a good idea. Okay, we got rid of that turret that was bothering me. Wish everyone was a toga guy. It'd be easier. They were earlier. Like, the first couple of missions, they were. <laughs> Lower accurate bio titan. Well, it's good to demoralize your foe, right? Destroying their houses is probably pretty demoralizing. Makes them fight less hard. I lost all my builders. I'm gonna group together for a swarm over here. Try to get the back line, because there's like only marines over here. Marines and turrets. 
there's a lot of flamethrowers around here, but if I can bust through here into here, then I can break out like one of their object, like one of their uh, defenses. I say, is that I, I just immediately leave myself defenseless. Ah, and I see the problem in this plan of mine. <laughs> Go back. Might need to add some more of these before I do that again. <laughs> Now you can go. Builders can build. <laughs> Unless they were pulling an insurance scheme on the house. Well, maybe that's true. I, I doubt that happens that often. But you never know. Okay. Once they've conglomerated up there further, then it'll be okay. They're building. Now they spread out far when you leave them alone. <laughs> and now there's no bugs to rein them in. They're just coming at me. Just hoping that they like respond to my attack <laughs> in a better way. If I like go straight into like attack here. My Titan's not even being built anymore because they're not spawning back there. Okay. Bugs are going in. Will they make it in time? Before they get moited. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, this is what you get for abandoning your post and sending your people to attack me. It was a flank. I fooled you. These bugs have brains. Kind of. Well, <laughs> they, they immediately bounced back pretty good. Don't want really to get the option to murder them. I do want to pen him in, though. Turn off goo and just send my builders all the way up there. So they just sort of build that wall as they run around. I guess the downside to having walls with no defenses is that they just <laughs> burn down the walls and the defenses don't fire. I want to keep sending these bugs in to, def to like distract them so they don't like stop me building these walls. Builders are really slow. I mean, they do the building, but they walk slow. The bugs are penning us in. This is another thing. Like, imagine, imagine being like penned in by the bugs. Like all of your escape routes being cut off slowly because they've just like built fleshy walls from the corpses of your like <laughs> your fallen friends or whatever. Oof. infinite hordes. Oh god, they're all dying. <laughs> we only got like three of them. Mm, making progress. I guess I have goo on death. Which I didn't realize I had. But I guess I did buy. I forgot about it. The Titan's just in there having a ball. I'd rather you attack this thing. You know, if you're going to attack anything. Yeah, we're making progress. We're killing. Killing, consuming. I could probably do this whole area in like one big bombardment rush, whatever. 
if I was to grab all of my bugs together right here and send them all in at once. They're outranging my turrets. I guess these walls aren't that useful until I get the extended range on the uh, spore launchers. The okay, builders, I want you to... Well, actually, I guess I'll send these guys over there to kill them. And these ones over here to kill them. Pull them into my trap. Destroy my walls while I handle the various soldiers dotted around the place where they shouldn't be. Okay, they're all dead. Now come back to the middle so we can actually attack. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off production for these so it's only builders being produced. Then I'm gonna run all the bugs in. Hopefully it does good. If it doesn't, though, I'll have a whole horde of builders to back them up. And the builders have goo on death. So if they rush in there to die, they'll spawn a bunch of goo all over the floor. So we'll get speed boosts when we go in there. We're doing alright. Look at it, look at how much we're advancing here. Just all this goo on the ground. Increasing the speed of all of my soldiers. You love to see it. Just the unending hordes of <laughs> goo spawning builder bugs. Yes. You're falling right into my trap. You're allowing me to build more goo. Now we turn off the builders and turn on the others and set them to here. Lord, ever more goo. There you go. Hey, look at all this speed stuff. Now, all my bugs move twice as fast on that, so they'll get in immediately. Just tear them apart. Oh, we're already maxed out. Oh. Attack. Whee! Look at him go! Well, it didn't go as well as I thought it would, but it, it's okay. <laughs> it went fine. We got in there. We got closer. We did a lot of damage. Not quite going to make it all the way, but... Progress is progress. In fact, even then I could just put more hives right here inside their base because they can't stop me. I mean, they can try. Titan looks like a Demogorgon puppy. It kind of, I kind of thought it looked like the um, the Thrombos from RimWorld. Ooh, or kind of like that one Pokemon. What's it called? The um, it's like red and like walks like a horse. <laughs> it's big. not very descriptive. One of the newer ones. S something. S Scolipede. That's it? Scolipede? Is that it? Crimson Moon? No. Crimson Mon. That's Digimon. It's kind of like Scolipede. Why are you sending me a Reddit link? Wait, click on a Reddit link? Oh yeah, like a thrombo, right? That's a thrombo. 
Yeah, see, it looks kind of like that. Oh, we're winning. <laughs> pretty, pretty well we won. And the bugs will consume the land forever. Ta da! 10,000 bug casualties. <laughs> Five of that was five minutes of that thirty minutes was me setting back up my Christmas tree, but, but it was pretty pretty rough. Kind of the wrong color. Well, I, yeah, it's the wrong color, but the shape is generally the same. It also has like a main, you know, sentience. Suddenly we were. Well, that just tells me what it is. What is waiting? Does waiting mean something? Like how difficult the missions are, or something? I wanted to start building up, didn't I? Towards the Swarm Mother. I can get it in one more mission. Allows more eggs to spawn at one time. Very good if you have excess nutrients. Increases hive spawn uh, size to by 50 nutrients. Okay. I want one of those. And I want... Ooh, carnivorous floor traps? That seems kind of fun. Yeah. Floor traps. Okay, what do we got? Curious Technology Center. 4 out of 10. Forward Military Base. 8 out of 10. Oof. Very large peasant city. 7 out of 10. Cockroach Town. That sounds like my kind of place. Oh, they have a tank. Uh oh. <laughs> 40 HP, a small human tank, high damage, high health, and low fire rate. Well, this is problematic. Although it's not a very big group of enemies. Potentially, I could just, like, bust in there with units and, like, handle it. Oh, never mind, just turrets. <laughs> never mind. Why would I put a floor trap down? It's like a build up to Hollow Knight. Hmm, maybe. I own that game. I could play that at some point, too. Actually, I am going to play that game at some point, too. I just don't know when. <laughs> at some point. Clearly. They're not quite doing what I wanted them to do. Also, the populations have boomed, and I'm no longer confident I could rush in there to fight. Just dot these around. I don't know where, like, optimal paths are for soldiers to walk in, so... I suppose it's just gonna be an option. Kill them. Kill the turrets. Make a hive here and a hive here. Nice. Now just like <laughs> walk up there <laughs> just to stop them coming at me while I build, build my defense. I need my builders to make more goo. I didn't realize that I wasn't building builders just then. So I had no, I had no income. Hmm. The tank still has 38 health. What does it start on? 40. Yeah, I've only hit it one time. I think I'm gonna have to use my titans to finish that off. So many builders to be spawned at one time. Holy crap. We got one of our floor traps. I wonder if I can like bait people into it, or if, like they are. If, I don't know if they attack it or not. Because if I put my turret here, and they come down to like try and shoot that turret, then they'll walk into that trap because it's four range or whatever. But if they if they're able to attack the traps, they have health, so maybe they are. This is a hidden trap, though. Maybe it won't be a problem. Three tanks, you're getting finessed. Oh, yeah. Well, four tanks now. Making more tanks. Yeah. 
rough. I could probably handle it though. I can I can counter their tanks with uh, titans if I have to. Oop, tanks are coming. That's that's not good. No, they shouldn't. Okay, they can't see these traps apparently, but they can outrange my turrets by a lot. Kill. Go builders, go. Kill the tanks. It can only shoot so quickly. You can massacre it while it's attacking. It's covered in blood. The, so the flamethrower was able to flame the trap. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it happened. too slowly to attack me. Yeah, their tanks aren't a threat at all. They, they attack way too slowly. I guess it's just an introductory like mission to show me that tanks exist now. Which I suppose I'm grateful for. I would be diff it'd be, it would suck if they gave me like a really hard mission with a bunch of tanks without knowing about them. The Soviets were literally building T-34 tanks on one side of the city and factories to go fight on the other side of the same city. D34 is one of the one of my one of my favorite starter tanks. Not starter tanks, but like a like low level tank in World of Tanks. I quite like the T34. I also like the Duck, the AMX uh, 18. I don't know what it is. 16 AMX 16, something like that. Duck tank. World of Military Links leaks. No, you're thinking of uh, War Thunder. <laughs> War Thunder is the one that has a million military leaks all the time. Which I've also played. I quite like the air combat of War Thunder. Should I just deal with this turret? It's kind of just harassing me. It's getting kind of annoying. <laughs> it's not like doing much, but it's like stopping me going to this spot right here. Build this here. Delete that one. Delete this one. To play those? Hmm, maybe. I don't like playing games online and the uh, community for uh, um, World of Tanks is <laughs> incredibly toxic. Some tank game had military leaks, not sure if it was that. Yeah, the War, Th War Thunder has like a reputation for leaking military documents a lot. Or people leaking military documents to them to make their tanks and planes more accurate. It's hilarious, but like <laughs> very illegal. <laughs> See some PvP from the 4.5 billion year old gamer himself. Some tank game had military leaks. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Play League of Legends, you're immune to toxicity. I don't play League of Legends. I used to play League of Legends. Toxicity still affects me quite a lot. It makes me sad. But less because I feel affected by it directly and more I just kind of sad that people still act like that in this day and age. I might have some clips from when I played World of Tanks. You can, like, save your replays if you, like, want to on the... Like, it, it, like, records your match replay, and then if you, well, like, if you think you did well, you can save it, and, like, it downloads the file to your computer, and you can, like, play it, but it only, it plays specifically through the engine, so you have to, like, re you have to launch World of Tanks, and then it plays the video on the World of Tanks client, um, and then when they update, it always breaks the, it breaks the, um, the videos, so you can't watch them after a while. So I have a lot of, like, where I did top of the team on those. But I have a lot. I had like 10 or 15 videos that I actually saved where I just did top. That was a lot of fun. I missed that game. I haven't played it in a long time. 
I used to play every Christmas with a friend of mine, but my friend stopped playing, so I stopped playing too. Because they had Christmas events every year. We just used to play it for like one or two months at a time every year, just for fun. But Demon Prime aren't more Terry, and you should be a toxic daddy by now. Uh, well, you know. I like that my floor traps haven't even been used because I don't know how they work. <laughs> like nothing's walked over them. I guess like I guess I could just like spawn them up here randomly. And just like send in all my builders to like go build them. And just like <laughs> plant them in the enemy base. Maybe that's how they're meant to be used. So he's the problem. My friend? No. Their uh their internet is an issue. <clears throat> an issue. Um, they lost their internet, so they have to use their phone's internet. Their phone doesn't like to connect to anything more than like, anything that requires like more than like a hundred megabyte or a hundred uh, kilobytes a second connection time, which is like everything. Um, they can't connect to any games or anything that's over hundred kilobytes a second required for some reason. It's I probably I think it's something to do with their data plan. It just refuses to like let them. So I can't. They don't. They won't play World of Tanks because the ping is too bad. And with their weird phone problem. Come on, build it. Get in there and build it. Please, build it. <laughs> build that one trap. Please. There's so many of them. Yes, okay. Now, retreat. I guess this doesn't really work still, because I don't have range on these turrets, so people are just going to blow up the walls while the turrets still exist there. I'm hoping that that just makes them... Yeah! <laughs> oh, dang it. I <laughs> they get destroyed immediately, but they do count as traps. They do kill things. It's kind of fun and kind of sad. Go on attack mode and go. Charge! Just build these things everywhere. <laughs> Literally everywhere. Just if, if you. If you have the potential to build them, get them in there. We'll make their home a nightmare. After all these sad stories, it became the single player moon we all know and love today. Uh, yeah, you know. They're not sad stories, are they? They're <laughs> just kind of like disappointing. Oh, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, I used to play League of Legends, but my friend that I was playing with doesn't play with me anymore, so I don't really like playing solo. I used to play World of Tanks, but don't play it anymore because my friend doesn't play it anymore because they can't. I used to play, you know, <laughs> it's like Super Mario Brothers on the NES, but not anymore. I used to play Pong. You should play stick and hoop. Ball and cup. Tragic. Overwatch. Wow. Here's the storm. Yeah, I suppose there's a lot of them, huh? Actually, that's a bad one to put those. Don't put those there. I don't want the enemies to attack through them. Okay, I'm not sure what to do here other than put down Titan and maybe that'll help. Because we're at kind of a stage where... The tanks are sort of overwhelming <laughs> my units a bit. Bang two rocks together. 
What's that gonna do, huh? Start a fire? Must be a bona fide Cheeto Dust Fingers body pillow gamer. I was never I was never one of those. But yeah. I I, I, I don't even like Cheetos that much either. They're alright. Sour cream and onion kind of chip eater. Or pretzels. Oh, I love pretzels, but. Nah, I don't eat Doritos. I used to. I used to like them a little bit, but I, they, were, they were always really expensive, so I never bought them. Can these plebs stop destroying my buildings? <laughs> You still have your energy drink. It's gotta take at least one box. Yeah, yeah, at least one. Okay, we come around the back side. I'll kill. That didn't work. All right. Doing all right here. My traps have been working pretty well. It looks like because they're all destroyed, which means they've eaten. Pull back over here. Turn off builders, because they're not really doing anything at this stage. I can turn off the allow nutrient goo and send the builders up here to die. That way I can get some more offensive attack. Enemies, their allies. Jeez, they died quick. Holy crap. My titan died so fast. I had a rule where I was going to only do like one titan at a time, but maybe, it's, maybe these tanks are going to have to make me break that rule. Everybody attack this. Not the, not the builders, but I want to like. Kill! Kill! <coughs> yeah, it works out. Up here. Oh, they're attacking my base. <laughs> Maybe I should send out some of my units to protect that. As far as I, I don't, I don't know if their buildings are their spawn cap or not. I'm assuming they are because they exist, and they're not walls. So I'm guessing that if I destroy their buildings, they can't spawn more units. I'm hoping that's what's happening. But I have no way to prove this because it doesn't give me that information exactly. It says shelter for humans, but it doesn't specify that they need the shelters to live. <laughs> you know what threat to me. Uh, okay. I may have to build like a wall here, here, right here to stop them like, getting in. Because I don't want them to like flank me here. I want my builders over there. Whoops. All my other bugs died. Let's go ahead and just gather around again. Allow nutrient goo. They'll just splatter themselves all over the ground. Go, go, go. Kill. Kill my bugs. Kill. Consume them. Three hours later, still not sure what you're watching. You're watching a, a low effort RTS. It's it's a real time strategy game where I just have to click like two buttons to make things happen. Versus pressing like 15 buttons a second and clicking on every image I see, you know, 
setting up like 14 different macros. <laughs> You're watching a game where I send bugs to die against hordes of humans. See that APM? Okay, I'll just do this for a while. Pressing buttons super fast. How many actions I'm doing? I hate, I hate, I hate watching StarCraft. <laughs> it's too, it's too untenable. Okay, send my hordes after the stragglers. An ugly planet, a bug planet, a planet hostile to life. Ah! I don't even know what that's a reference to, but I like it. It's funny. That a Starship Troopers reference? Yay! I only got 6,000 bugs that time. Starship Troopers. I need to watch Starship Troopers. I've never seen it. I really need to watch it. 510, 710, 410. Curious Technology Center. That's my next one. It's great. I've heard. I've, on I've only heard good things about it. <laughs> but I just haven't seen it yet. Increase attack speed. Oh, everything just attacks faster. That's cool. The Swarm Mother. Oh no, I can't unlock the Swarm Mother. Why? I only had I only had one point. Oh, how sad. No Swarm Mother for me. Curious Technology Center. Ooh, Tesla Towers. No. Short range static defensive tower attacks very quickly with low damage. That seems awful. <laughs> that seems really bad. Need more overlords. I'm not allowed to have overlords. I don't know what those are, but I know it's a Zerg unit. Yeah, I don't know how useful the floor traps are. They're fun, but I don't know how good they are. I think they are very strong if I just send a bunch of bugs in to place them, like, around the base, and then they just get eaten. Maybe I'll just, like, preempt by dots. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can only put them outside of the base. I guess it's, like, there's probably, like, a range. Like, from the buildings. Or maybe it's because it's enclosed, because I can't reach it. Maybe that's the reason. More hives. Put them against the back wall for now. One egg. As long as humans don't evolve to have nukes. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Let's construct additional pylons. Kill the Starcrafters in chat. <laughs> yeah. You'd like to get Starcraft if it's not on Steam? Nah, you have to get the you have to get it from Blizzard. The 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 Battle.net or whatever it's called. It might just be called Blizzard now. They might have changed it from Battle.net. Battle.net still on sale at the moment. Microsoft Blizzard. Hmm. Yeah. So if you want it, you can get it, but... You have to use a different source. I don't know if I don't know if Blizzard is available in all parts of the world or not. Or not Blizzard, Battle.net. I don't know if you can just download it. Some places ban stuff like that for whatever reason. Activision Blizzard. Well, whatever. Something Blizzard. Do I want to break down these walls with no fighter units? Probably not. But. Which way is the safest zone? <laughs> I think up here is probably most defensible, because that gives me a lot of room to work with. If I go up here, attack that area, I'll probably be more okay. Full three campaigns for StarCraft 2 is only $10, and you, uh, Australian dollars, 80% off. Wow.
I told the builder bugs to go up there, but I have the, the purple bug decided to also go up there for whatever reason. Just tedious to register new services. Yeah, that's true. But if, you, if it looks like a game you'll enjoy, it's probably worth doing, even if it is a pain in the bud. Okay, we got regular beings available now. Okay, you need to go in there and attack. If you're just going to wander around getting shot, <laughs> I'd prefer you go and attack. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. I hate it, but it's cool. Actually, well, I don't... I, I literally do not want you to attack that. Why did, I, why did I tell you to attack that? Please stop. I don't want that open. Oh, no. Okay, well... That's a mistake. I opened a <laughs> door I didn't want opened. Oh no, I'm about to open a second one. Why? <laughs> because I can't control it. Oh good, it died. Alright, we're safe. Okay, I'm worried that a Titan might be the only thing that can take these towers on. Because I think it kills everything before they even get close. Yeah, it's like instantaneous. It's ridiculously fast. Alright. Everything there. At least this is still blocked off, so I don't have to deal from two fronts. Yeah, we're not gonna get in there. We have to use the Titans. All right, multiple Titans it is. I wanted to not do this game, but you're forcing my hand. It's Titan time. bugs over there to, to, to protect. What if I could, like, build along this wall? Any amount of builders. If they just run up there and build real quick, maybe I can, like, get some defenses there to just blast them over the wall. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't go over the wall because <laughs> it's, it's a solid wall. I'm not allowed to shoot over that. Okay, fine. Well, I guess it's still fine to have them there. Release the Kraken. Is that a Tesla coil from Red Alert? I don't know. Is it? It's definitely a Tesla tower. I'm not making any progress here. Oh, my Titans have hatched. In you go. I'm out of food now. No! Swarm! Kill the tower! It's, it's your only job, please kill the tower! <laughs> That's all I need you to do. Thank you. Wow, that, that took out, f like, four of my five titans to get that one tower down. Actually, don't, don't make these ones. dead now, but they were nice at the time. <laughs> They're really just busting in here to attack me. Not loving that. I've also noticed that um, six might be too many titans to produce at once. I'm running out. I'm completely out of food now. <laughs> so once this spawns, I'll delete. I'll get rid of these two. Or these three. I'll, I'll spawn three at a time. How about that? Hey, Moose. How you doing? You're not new. But hello. Okay, bust around that wall and kill him quick. Hmm. 
Go, go, go. I killed him. I did it again. <laughs> I've done that twice now. Okay, what I need to do is turn off at least one of these swarm toggles. They can't really get in there to do anything. Well, I guess they're doing something. They're, get, they're sort of getting in there. <laughs> Not very well. They're getting a couple of kills, but they're getting murdered pretty quick. Okay, turn off these. I need these ones to produce instead. They're closer. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. I'm trying to figure out how to send my bug swarm army to defeat these enemies. Actually, attacking them up here might be the way to go. Because there's um no tanks defending that location. <laughs> how do I get more food? Uh, I lay down these carpets. This carpet of, like, goo gives me more food production. The reason I'm out of food right now is because I'm not switching to this, and I'm building titans. The titans use up a lot of food. These are, like, 500 per titan. I'm, like, hitting my swarm cap right now. So I'm not, like, too far behind. But these three things add different effects. Like, this makes them attack stronger. This one makes them spawn faster. This one gives them more food. So all of them are pretty useful to have on at any given time. Like, I'm attacking now, so I'm going to turn the attack on so they do more damage per hit, which will kill slightly faster. Not a lot of increased damage, but something. I need to get rid of this Tesla Tower, but it kills my little bugs so fast that only the Titans can handle it, which is why I've been doing... why I've been making the Titans constantly. But it takes so much... Um, food to do it. There's the corn fed. <laughs> Screw the environments from the titans. I would, but I, I... There's um there's another way to get more food. There's like these... like <laughs> These pustules <laughs> that you can get in the upgrade tree. Um, which I haven't been getting because I was trying to build to a different unit. But I might have to do that now. It's because they're giving me so little space to work with. Um... I might get those pustules and then use them to bust in faster. I don't actually need builders right now. I'm gonna send the builders in to die. Because I need the goo carpets. If they can get past any of these turrets or attackers. Nah, I couldn't. Too many enemies. So I've got my I got my big titans here. As soon as I get more units on the go, then I'll send them in. Okay, I want them to destroy this. That's all I need. I need them to destroy one tower. Go. There's, yeah, there's well, there's two. Yeah, if there's one choke point. But if, if I unlocked this section, I could flank. But then they would be able to attack me from that edge. So I wouldn't be able to like do anything. Ah, we got in there to kill some of the tanks, but we couldn't reach the towers. Oh, I don't have that much health left. Oh, they've still got all their health left, never mind. So what I need now is to get builders. I need my builders to put down more carpets, so I just need them to like die, essentially. They don't do much damage, but if I can get them up in there. And they'll like when when they die, they sometimes spread goo, so that gives me more production and makes my units move faster on it. So I can get in there faster to attack the tower. So you'll notice like even though they're, even though they're all dying almost instantly, sometimes they get a little bit further every time. There's so many of them, but every once in a while one will just eek by and get in. But I think I need to hold back and set it back to a um, full swarm. Once they fully produce. Go. Hmm. 
Maybe we're not going to be able to make it. It's not the worst. It's, it, we got pretty far in there. Um, I could probably send the builders over here to like build up the wall here, but I can't stop them attacking this, which is the problem. But as I am now, I can't really produce any more goo than I already have. There's a couple of spots like on these turrets that I haven't done, but that'll be about the extent of it. <laughs> I'll need to turn off the builders turn on the others. I'll leave I'll leave the builders in there because I want to be able to like get some of the goop down when I go into attack. But after most of the builders are dead, I'll send in the, the whole swarm. There you go. Go switch to attack mode. All in. I need the titans to get in. As long as the titans are in, then we can swarm the towers and destroy them. Because they're not very strong. I just need to, like, get a few enemies on them, or a few allies on them. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just try again. This is purely just me not picking the right upgrades on the evolution tree. If I had picked the, um, the increased, like, food, I would easily be doing this, because I could just add more titans to the, the mix. But because I don't have the increased food, I can't get to titans. I did destroy one of the towers, though. That's a big one. It's a big win for me. Now I can like attack over on this edge, and the tower, the lightning towers can't hit me. And they only have one unit produ producing building, so if I can get rid of this building, <laughs> then they can't produce any more units. But they have a lot of tanks to back themselves up. Their tanks outrange me by a lot, so I can't use my turrets to like kill them, because my turrets only have four range, these have eight. We're getting a little bit further now. Our bugs are dying, but we're producing some goop on the floor. We're getting like a bite off every now and again. Just every once in a while you'll see like one of the humans flash red. Like that, and they'll just die. Not making much progress, but we are making some. We got some titans ready to go in. They'll make it pretty far up there, but they're not going to live long. Yeah, see, the flamethrowers and the tanks put together basically instantly kill anything I put in there. I think the I think the the, the dream is to take a little bit of time to make several groups of soldiers. Uh, so, uh, sorry, several groups of titans. Send them all in at once. And while they're running in, use the, uh, the swarmers probably are best. So I may turn off these two and then send them in to die. Actually, I might send the, the builders over that direction to try and goop up that. The swarmers have a little bit of armor, so they can take a hit from the soldiers. Whereas the, uh, the, sp the spiners, the green ones, and the uh, builders do not. They'll die instantly. The tanks are the main threat, though. There's so many of them that I can't really handle them. And if they all attack my big units at once, then they'll just die. Let me start producing more food. As long as they don't get into my hive, we're fine. I need builders too, because <laughs> I need to build these. We'll get there. Eventually. It's just a matter of <laughs> playing it well. This may seem tedious at this stage, but that's just me making a mistake early on. I wanted those pustules because I knew they'd be useful eventually, but I just ignored them. Now I need them. I mean, realistically speaking, I could just add more of these eggs. Produce less swarmers, because they're just getting killed anyway. With more builders. Kill the soldiers! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, because th this edge here is really safe to attack from. 
because they can't shoot me right here. So if I go around that edge, I can get up pretty close. Builders are making their way in. They're definitely going to bust out that wall, which I don't want them to do, but I'm not going to stop them either. I need them up here to grab this so I can get some extra food production. If I increase the range of these spiners, they could probably help a lot too. They wouldn't be able to outrange the tanks, but they could outrange the flamethrowers. Right now they can't, so they just get murdered immediately. So many, so many titans. Alright, let's produce some actual combat units now. I don't know when I turned that one off. It was an accident, though. Okay, now we're going to go in, and we're definitely not going to lose this time. We have far too many Titans. That's why I don't want to do this, is because it's definitely going to win. Bust in there with everything. Like Some of them will definitely die, but we will come out on top, no doubt. <laughs> All it took was, like, ten titans. We got in there. But th this this gameplay style is a bit cheap and cheating, so I don't want to do it. Because it's too easy. <laughs> That's why I restricted myself to one titan, but that wasn't enough, so I can put more on. That was too many. But bugs probably don't care about cheating. 8,000 bugs to 700 humans. Wow, what a ratio. Now give me... Oh no. Well, actually, I guess I could get the Swarm Queen, couldn't I? Yes, the Swarm Mother. And the Nutrient Pustules. There you go. Five out of ten. Hidden Flea Village. Very dangerous humans. So we got one te That's it, really? One Tesla Tower? Some turrets? This is a really easy mission. There's no way I'm going to have a hard time with this. Let's build some hives, like, here. Some walls. Turn off. Ooh, what is that? Swarm Mother. Oh, right. Eight-hour stream today. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, it's the end of the stream, isn't it? I'll just finish this mission up. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Pustules. Pustules. Yes. Them everywhere. Delete that one. The turret's there instead. No! They're shooting my bugs! My buggos! So these are my swarm mothers. 15 health, 3 damage, armor, attack speed's good, attack range is 0, so they have to attack. Slow moving bug that lays swarmer eggs every so often, dropping swarmers from her back. Wow. I just like put them over here. They'll just constantly produce. I don't actually know how useful that's going to be, but it's kind of fun. Look at these pulsating pustules. <laughs> that your buggers did everything wrong. It's true. They were just hanging out over here. Stop it. Stop attacking my bugs. Warm mother, don't go over there. Watch out. No. Oh. I did. <clears throat> oh, whoops, I just realized what's happening. The swarm mothers are <laughs> making my cap. Like they're they're like making too many swarmers. 
I didn't realize her swarms would would count towards my my unit cap. Did I say I was streaming till New Year? No. Hydrate. Eight day stream? I think not. I wouldn't be able to manage. I would go insane and also probably just like pass out from, you know, lack of food and water. <laughs> I don't need as many pustules. It's just kind of funny that I can make them any of them. Pustules! I'll never be hurting for food again in the game. Specifically. I make two of these. I have all the nutrient goo. <laughs> Energy drinks, yo, it's what plants crave. Uh, I think you can find that's Brondo. Brondo is what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. making so many builders. I don't even need as many builders for anything. I really just tell them to go in there. Start spawning more of these and these. Make everything over here. I do need the builders over here, actually, to finish up that, that hive. Lights. They're stuff in <laughs> food. <laughs> I mean, like that's that's what Brondo is specifically. The bro that the, that's the joke. Um, because it's all electrolytes are also in like water and stuff, minerals in your blood. Um, you can get them from stuff. I think, I think like calcium is an electrolyte and something else. I don't, I don't know. There's there's a lot of them anyhow. But they're just like stew. They're just stuff you get from food. This is your endocrinologist speaking. I don't deal with electrolytes in endocrinology. I deal with diabetes and like thyroid issues. Also, I'm not I'm not I'm not a medical assistant anymore. I lost my license long ago. Endocrimologist, yeah, you got it. So if it's from a line from some movie. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in such a long time. I only remember that's literally the only thing, like line I remember is the Brondo, what plants crave, or the and the water from the toilet one. Water from the toilet. Stop eating thyroids then. But, but they're, but they're good. Okay, put that away. I don't really need this much. <laughs> Look how much I have so much stuff. Okay, their choke point is about as effective as my choke point is. I could build these walls here and, like, put up, like, defensive turrets in the hopes that that, like, helps me fight them off while I push in a little bit closer. Be thyroids. Well, could be. These walls aren't super good, but they do stop them shooting my bugs as they approach. Instead, they just shoot the walls, which is fine. I'm getting pretty in there. And we're doing proper damage too. Like they're not able to like counter me. Maybe these swarm mothers are pretty good. It feels like they're really like producing because they're producing the units so close to the battlefield that they seem to just push forward constantly. Pustules. Build some more. You 
the only the only upgrade I've gotten so far that I don't know the usefulness of is the um the trap pit things, the carnivorous trap pits. <laughs> They're the only thing I found that I'm not sure is particularly good. It's kind of a fun idea, but I can't like I have to like put them in a place where I know the units are gonna walk to to get eaten by them. But since like the flamethrowers hit everything in a line, if if one of the later ones gets activated, then it be just flamethrowers everything north nearby, and that's really not helpful. I can't actually end my stream yet. Ads are about to start and they haven't started and they just refuse to start, so I have to do another mission. Because <laughs> I have to wait for the ads to go. Oh, they just started. Look at that. Well, I'll still do another mission because... Uh, what do I want? More pus? Mm-mm-mm. Hasty. Defensive goo tactics. Defensive... I think defensive is probably pretty useful. Buildings regain health over time. Builders are peaceful but will not attack. That's pretty good. Allow the spore launchers to shoot further. That's pretty good. Even further. Ooh, spore artillery. Stationary attacking bug structures that shoot spores at far range targets. Sounds pretty good. Swarm gains one health. That's pretty cool. All bugs gain health. Also pretty good. All owls buggos to gain nutrients from killing humans. Love that. Extra spawn. Math. I mean, I might increase my swarm capacity, actually. Just do that twice. <laughs> Eight-hour stream. Forced to stream, yeah. Nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid. Fortified Military Compound Center. Ooh, music change. Got, I got started with two hives. What the heck? Jamming, I like it. Oh, they're coming right for me immediately, huh? Go, bugs, go! Pustules! I don't need you to attack those yet, <laughs> please. Yep, yeah, they're coming right for me. Immediately, <laughs> okay. Go! Save me! Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oof, that's a really rough, like, forward settlement. Linda Athlete point of view. <laughs> Now humans are on the offensive. Yeah, it seems like it. Maybe that's why the music got changed. Actually, uh, I need to defend against this. They put me some. Give me some more of these, please. <laughs> sure I don't accidentally. I don't want them to, like, board over here. I should probably go this way and stop them attacking me. And builders need to stay. Builders stay. Uh, the Swarm Mother... I probably don't need to produce the ranged units or the Swarmers, because the Swarm Mother's handling that. Uh, I need my builders to build. <laughs> I, need the, I need that floor goo. Uh, I guess just attack. I'll leave the mother out of combat. She'll just produce more. I'm not confident I'll be able to take on this base and that base, but as long as I get some defenses up and running, I think I'm okay. I just need, like, walls to stop them rushing in. Then I'll be alright. 
put those there for now. Maybe put like a backup, like a bunch of carnivorous plant mouths to stop things pushing forward further than I want them to. to dot them around so that they get eaten if they come into my base. Not gonna be able to stop that guy attacking, but it's something. Okay, we got lots of <laughs> lots of swarm mothers using up my entire spawning horde. So we're gonna send them into combat. At least those at least more of those pustules. Dog around. In the <laughs> convenient places. Also might make some more hives to be on the safe side here. So we're <laughs> what's the redeeming? It's um you gotta go. Good luck fighting the pesky humans. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Bert. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, the Squeaky Gripper is like a... It's a spring-loaded, like, hand-gripping machine for exercising your wrists. I mentioned it once on a stream, and then somebody said I should do it, and I did it, and then I made a redeem for it. It's, it's just an annoying clicking noise you'll hear for about a minute until I get tired of doing it. So, you know, you could, you could redeem it, but probably not worth it. <laughs> Unless you really want it. And these are getting destroyed too quickly, so delete all those. What is the range? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that was the right range. It's just the tanks must be killing it. <laughs> Service guarantees citizenship. Ooh, is that my headphones of the game? Yeah, I might turn off this and turn on the ranged ones. I need... Uh... The builders up here. I want them to repair those walls, but I also need the builders to expand the goo field. <laughs> Not right now, saving for drown. Another one, huh? Devastating. So many people saving for drown. Game suggestions, not a real, like, a, not, not a real channel point thing. That one's just for people to waste points on. If you have a game you want me to play, you can just mention it. If you redeem the suggestion, I'll probably play it sooner. But you can just, you can just suggest a game you want to see. If I have it, I'll probably play it at some point. It was just one that was, like, suggested that I add a long time ago. Uh, when I didn't have any channel point redeems. Somebody just suggested that I add one for like a game suggestion and make it like thirty thousand points. I was like, okay, and then I I lowered it to ten thousand because I didn't. That felt a bit excessive. <laughs> Drowning game suggestions. Well, I do intend to play Raft eventually on stream. I played a little bit of it um, and liked it a lot. But they've added a bunch of updates since the last time I played it. That counts. Wow, this is this is happening. <laughs> Jeez. I don't want to break into that wall yet until I deal with the other groupings of enemies. Although, this entire area just stopped. What happened? I guess they used up all their spawners over here? Oh, wait, they have no buildings. Are they not able to produce more units? my builders up here to produce more goo. I might move my swarm mothers up a little bit so they can get closer to the action so that the um, they don't have to run as far to do killing. Has my boat been attacked by anything in Valheim? No, I didn't even know that could be attacked. I assumed it could, but I don't know for sure. I don't think... No, it hasn't been attacked. I got jumped at by a fish once scared me. <laughs> I'm just worried about this place down here. Nothing's attacking it. Nothing's stopping it from attacking. 
You've had some of the greys wait out and bap it. Oh, I've had that happen. I didn't. They didn't bap it. They just threw rocks at me. That was really annoying. I, I couldn't hit them back. Oh, and I had like a enemy shoot an arrow at it once, which is really frustrating. Leviathan Reaper. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> hope not. Ugh. Okay, we're good here. Um, I might put up this defense wall because my Swarm Mother's being attacked, and they're producing more units now. Put this back here. Put the Titans back here. Put these back here. Get that wall up. Put some defensive spore launchers. The wall will at least defend my approaching units for a bit. Destroy that. You're gonna have you're gonna head out. Alright, take care. Thanks for popping in and saying hey for a bit. Have a good night. Sleep well. Come back and see a stream. It's been a while. Yeah. That's good to see you. Once upon a time. Oh, the deer hunting. I was like, what are you talking about? Did I ever tell a story about my grandfather? Yeah, uh, we were hunting. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, have we been fishing and hunting? It's nothing particularly interesting, but it's, you know, normal grandfather, grandson bonding, I guess. And the telling me about the, you know, going up hill to work every day. In the snowstorm. You know, that, that sort of thing. Talking about how it's not that hot or cold, because back in, you know, the 1950s it was hotter and colder. <laughs> like, it's like, alright, whatever. I mean, the, you know, billions of years ago, 1950s, not the ones that are recent to. <laughs> you know, that one. <laughs> Alright, let's not let's, let's not spread misinformation. <laughs> Even as a joke. No. <laughs> it's very very real. <laughs> very distinctly real and provable. It just doesn't mean what people think it means. Turn these back on. The earth's flatter than Kansas. No! destroy that, but all my swarmers seem to... Oh, it's because my, my mothers, my swarm mothers are up there. I was like, why are they all up there? I need them down here. I can also put, like, these here. This won't help, though. But nothing's coming from here anymore, it seems like. So I think there is a very, um... I think there is a limit to the number of humans that can be on the map if they don't have houses. Maybe. Oh, never mind. They just spawned a bunch. <laughs> okay. Maybe I don't understand what all that means. Get in there. Destroy it quick. I should really buff these ranged ones. They're doing pretty well. I never actually used them because they didn't seem that useful, but... Now that I've been producing, like, tons of them, they're actually pretty strong. <laughs> Whereas the swarmers have to get in melee range. They can shoot from a distance. They actually do quite a bit. I forgot I also have, like, a way bigger swarm now, too. Move the mothers into combat. The mothers will swarm. I'm doing all right. I wish I could, like, designate a certain number of units to spawn at a time. Because I don't need this many 
<laughs> I don't need this many uh, swarmers right now. I need more builders than swarmers, but these things just constantly produce when they have the ability to. Okay, that's good. We're going to build another wall here to defend my approaching units. I also want one here. But that one's not going to get built for a while, if at all. One tight on the left is a Gucci. Well, he busted through that wall pretty fierce. Did that wall always that size? Or did they, like, build? I think they must have had a turret in there or something. Did you upgrade your range? No, it's still the same. Okay, swarmers, get in there. Builders, over here. And ranged units, also in there. Mothers, a little bit closer. Maybe not that close. I want you to blast it by the, the things immediately. Yeah, see, the range isn't great on the little ones, but, like, that extra range is incredibly useful for taking out units. Just because they can do more damage before they close. Oof, the flamethrowers. Rough. No, mothers! Swarm mothers, don't go! It's too dangerous! Oh, they're making it in there. They're doing some work. The swarm mothers are producing enough units to keep my, uh, my swarmers topped up pretty efficiently. I could also just build my hives closer. to send my units up here to kill them because they're just not cooperating. They're not dying to my mini builders. Okay, mothers are no longer producing enough units. Let's move them back. Build, so I'll put those in, and I'll build these three down here. There you go. Sweet. Those Titan eggs, that one can stay because they're building those. But these ones don't need to be here. Once they've decided to <laughs> finish building that. That's probably enough. I can, I can delete them for now. Or remove them from the building queue. The mothers are swarming so much. I should probably just throw them into the combat to get them out of my my hair. There's a lot of them there, and they do enough. They do a little bit of damage themselves, I think. So, yeah, three damage. They're close range. They got good attack speed, but they're really slow. So getting them in there is kind of the the crucial thing I have to do here. I might actually go full on builder spam here just to try and get more goo in there, so I can rush the point faster. Go all except builders. Stay down here so you can get some more of yous in there. That way I can end my stream <laughs> since I decided to do one extra mission. This is very much a one more mission kind of game, I think. Like it's not super difficult, there's no real skill involved, it's not like tedious or exhausting. You just sort of sit here and watch little soldiers kill little bugs. <laughs> it's just kinda nice. Nice game. I don't know. Oh, maybe "nice game" is the wrong way to say that. <laughs> it's it's, a, it's it's enjoyable to play. Very very like not relaxing, but like sort of brain off sort of game. <laughs> They're really just gunning for me here, huh? Can I get some spore launchers here to defend? I'm getting kind of close. Maybe this will work out for me. Palette cleanser TM. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like a palette cleanser. No, my hives! Okay, well. I guess it's probably time to produce some actual fighters here.
Their forces are pretty divided, all things considered. But realistically, I probably could make it in somewhere if I just decide to send all, all at them. Especially if I move the swarm queens like around here to more centralized location where they can kind of just keep spawning units nearby enough to like help, but not so nearby to get killed. I can't control them enough to stop them moving past a certain point, but still pretty good progress. Yeah, something like that. The humans have advanced into my territory. If I build a wall here, that'll mean I can approach closer. <laughs> Without getting shot. Not that they're being shot there anyway, but... I could build another one. As long as it gets built, that's all I need. Then I'll push in for the win. <laughs> it's just a constant influx of like. Swarm bugs. I don't actually need to use those ones at all. Where's the Titans? Titans are down here. I'm not using these ones anymore, so I'll delete those and move them up to here. Advance my hives as well. Turn off everything that isn't the mothers or the anything that isn't the builders because the mothers are producing enough. I don't need to worry about it. Pretty good at dealing with this area. I've penned them in, but there's a lot of tanks, so I need to like advance from this angle now to like destroy them. Once I get this built, I'm gonna move the Titans down here. Then move them over to this side. Then I'm gonna rush them in to like try and hit this building right away. Not that they have that sort of, you know, control over their inhibitions. Whatever. Oh my god, they destroyed everything. Okay, start spawning builders, start spawning these two. Mothers can stay there for now, and everything can attack. Except mothers. Go down here. Go, go, go! Just get here immediately. That's the most important thing. It'll take a lot of hits, but as long as you get sort of where I want you to go, you're fine. Well, we didn't make much progress, but we got sort of in there. Mothers are still producing. That is great. That's constant. Constant influx of allied units. Build this along the bottom here. That'll give me a bit more room to approach cautiously. <laughs> Mothers are down there. Yeah. Good. Could probably send the mothers in, actually. They do a lot of damage if they're just fast enough to get in and fight. Which they don't seem to be. Maybe I'll move them back down here after all. <laughs> they seem pretty bad. Considering how much damage they do and how fast they attack, you'd think they'd be, like, at least half decent <laughs> by combat units. I still have these built over here. I need to turn those off. They're spawning too far away from the fight. <laughs> I 
I'm just like slowly penning them in. <laughs> Not working great for me, but it's working. The overwhelming hordes of buggos. I don't need mothers anymore. There's plenty of them. They can just stay there. The needle ones can go here, and the swarmers can go here, and we'll rush in all at once. We got one of the buildings down, so we're winning. Sort of. Turn off builders. happening? Yeah, we got their building. Now we just have to wipe out the stragglers. <laughs> These jerks over here slowly destroying my base with whatever they want. I'm going to defile their territory by just laying pustules down everywhere. Yeah, enjoy that. Here's a hive, too. Show you what is. What's, what's up? Everything else. Just come and attack. We're gonna be able to get them in there. <laughs> like, we're gonna kill the last humans before we give them a chance. They don't even see it coming. Yeah. Sixteen thousand buggos. Ooh. All right. I think. <laughs> I think it's time to end stream. So, thanks for hanging out, chatting, lurking, all that fun stuff. I appreciate it. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, Planet Zoo. As always. And the day after that's probably going to be American Truck Simulator. Maybe? If I feel like it? Um, depends on what I'm feeling that day. Yeah. That's all for me. Take care. Have a good rest of your day, night, afternoon, evening. Whatever time it is for you. Drink water. Stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>